Hello everybody, it is I the Shuffle Master, and today's sponsor is RPGs! Could you guess it? I didn't- I don't think you would've got- guessed it. I don't know. Pretty strange to be sponsored by RPGs. What is RPGs, you ask? It is my designed pin set collection. It is 20 sets, uh, 20 pins in each set, and uh, this is wave 2 right now. Wave 1 is sold out, it's been sold out for a while, so this is wave 2, and it's going fast right now. Uh, it's definitely gonna sell out before the holiday season is over. So, grab yourself some pins if you really want them. Uh, they are based on 8-bit and 16-bit uh, JRPGs of uh, all those days ago. You know, we're talking Super Nintendo, we're talking regular Nintendo, those kinds of RPGs. That's what these are based on. Um, you get three in a bag and it's random, um, but there are rarities. There's common, uncommon, rare, and ultra rare. So let's let's check out a couple, all right? You see right here, we got common pins, uncommon pins, rare pins, and ultra rare pins. So let's, uh, let's crack it open and see what we got. Oh, we got a branch baby! This one's my favorite. It is a common, but it's one of my favorites. I, I actually struggled to uh, make this one a common. I, I thought for sure that this should be a rare, but uh, I don't know, just something about it was like, eh, I, wa I wanna give I wanna give some of the top tier ones a, a chance in common as well. So boom, there you go, branch baby. Uh, number two. Oh! Oh my god! Whoa, 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 hold on. This is an ultra rare. That's King Froggins right down there. That is King Froggins ultra rare. It is sparkly. It is clean. Very, very nice. Holy crap. Okay, fantastic. That was just out of a sealed pack. I just grabbed this out of the out of out of the stock that we have in the warehouse, and I pulled myself a King Froggins. All right. Well, I'm not gonna keep this. I'm gonna throw this back into. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna repack uh, a pack of this and, and put it back with the stock because I feel a little bad taking an ultra rare. But there's very few of these out in the wild, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that back in another bag, um, but that is very awesome. Wow, look at that. Very shiny. Um, and then the last one we got, we got a Cleric. Uncommon. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, cleric is a, is a good solid pull. A big pin. That is, uh, that was a common, uncommon, and an ultra rare. So great, great pulls right there. That was awesome. You can grab them yourself at RPGs.com or GameGrumps.com slash merch. Go check it out. Um, at GameGrumps.com slash merch, you can uh, save on shipping if you get some GameGrumps merch as well. So, go check them out. Thanks RPGs for sponsoring this video, and let's get on with the show. What's up, everybody? I did it this time. I got all the buttons right. Hey, how you doing? Dude, hello. I was just looking at chat while people were were seeing the RPGs ad. That was legit, man. I didn't... I mean, you've seen... I, I mean, I've aired, what, like, 14 of these ads now? The RPGs ads? And you've seen, like, sometimes I just get, like, common, common, uncommon. So, the fact that I pulled an ultra rare, that was legit. I just grabbed it out of the pile. I just grabbed a bunch of bags out of the pile of... Like, literally, they gave me this bag that was... And it's just, it's just packs of, so I, it's not like I seeded that pack. <laughs> That's, I, w I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that to y'all. I wanted it to be legit, so it was pretty amazing. Oh, the audio. My bad. Oh, my bad. Sorry. I was doing uh, voice auditions on another mic, so that's why my audio was really low. Sorry. My bad. We're good now. We're good. All right. <clears throat> Anyway, welcome everybody. It's Shuffle Master time, baby. It's been a while. This week's been wild, man. I've been I've been prepping for stuff. I've been doing a bunch of stuff. I've been it's it's been it's been a thing. But I I can officially announce that um oh god, I it's funny cuz I can't even officially announce it now that I say it. The point is, I'm going to be doing that Kingdom Hearts stream, Kingdom Hearts 2. I'm going to be streaming Kingdom Hearts 2 front to back, one sitting. It's probably gonna take me 30 plus hours to do, but I did it a couple years ago for Kingdom Hearts 1 to raise money for my mom's charity, Healing Horse Therapy Center, um, and I'm gonna be doing it again this year. Um, so, there's gonna be a lot of charity stuff be going on, because next week I'm also gonna be doing a Shuffle Master stream for Thankmas, um, which is, uh, which is uh, the Jacksepticeye thing. So, I'm gonna be helping with that, and then also I'm gonna be taking playing Kingdom Hearts. I think I'm going to be doing it on the 20th. I think I'm going to be doing it Sunday to Monday, um, that Kingdom Hearts stream. I'm pretty sure that that's what's, what it's going to be. Pretty sure. So, that's what's happening. It's going to be a fun time. It's going to, we're going to have a good time. Anyway, welcome. 
This is we're gonna be opening Digimon today. It's gonna be fun. I'm excited about this. Well, okay. If if it seems like all right, if anybody's been noticing my energy, and they're saying that I'm not as 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 peppy as I usually am, there's a reason for that. There is a reason for that. I have discovered that the room that I keep all of my stuff in, the Shuffle Master room, uh, it's a little how you say warm. It's a little warm sometimes. And warm is a bad recipe for trading cards. So, particularly foils. Uh, so any foils that have been in packs that are susceptible to curling, they've been curling. Uh, it's not moist in here, it's pretty dry in here actually, but it is, it is, it is a little warm uh, at times. I'm trying to figure that out right now, but the point is I have all these promo packs, these Digimon promo packs. Um, and uh, just how they're naturally sitting right now before they open, and then this is how they're supposed to be sitting. So, they're getting a little pringly in here, and I'm not pleased about it. I'm really not pleased. The AC's on, I know you can't hear it. The point is, it's it, I can't have the AC on 24-7, and also, it gets warm in the studio room, but it's it's cool. It's it gets really cold out there because it's cold out right now. Um, so I got to figure out what to do about that. Um, I don't know what to do about it. To be honest with you, I might just have to move all my cards out to a different room or something because I don't want to get cards again. I mean, I've got you've seen it too. I've got tons and tons of cards over here, so. I'm just hoping it doesn't affect. All I mean, honestly, like it's weird because you know I have these like naked magic cards and they're fine. You know that these these ones are I kind of fucked with these, but they're they're fine, man. They're you know there's 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 a couple, but they're not popping or anything. They're they're totally fine. So it's it it, it just depends on the the way that the cards are printed. Yeah, these were on the floor. That's why they're all bent. I, I should probably throw these away. Um, but yeah, it, it's really strange. Um, and, and, and I've been noticing it too when I open up the cards and stuff they're fine and then they sit out until the end of the stream and then they get a little a little curled so um, uh, yeah it's not humid it's not a humidity thing it's super dry in here it's very dry it is it is a warmth thing only um, so I, I I checked on that you know I have um, silica packets and shit so anyway Today's stream is Digimon. We got Digimon box, baby. A Digimon box. Two Digimon boxes. We actually have five Digimon boxes, but we'll probably only open two today. Maybe three. I don't know. We're starting early, so the, the sky's the limit. Uh, I do have to give a shout out to Legacy Comics, though. Legacy Comics was who I collaborated with um, to, to sell a base set booster box, which is actually still available at Legacy Comics in Glendale. Um, but they gave me this box for free, so I wanted to give them a shout out. Uh, to for for letting me have this box for free, um, and obviously I got the rest from them too. But <laughs> this one was they just threw in. Uh, so give me a shout, Legacy Comics. Go check them out in Glendale. Um, they also have a website, LegacyComics.com. Um, they sell a lot of stuff. They got some Pokemon singles. They got a ton of Magic singles. I mean, you want Magic shit? That's the place to go, man. They got they got tons of Magic. I've never played the Digimon card game before. I bought the three uh, uh, pre-cons, uh, Ty and the other two, and <laughs> and I, I put them in sleeves and I shuffled through them and I looked at them and I'm like, oh, dude, this is cool, whatever. But I don't know anything about Digimon. I don't know anything about this game. I haven't played a single match yet, um, but I love these cards. I think they're so cool. The cards are awesome. We're, ah, we're gonna look at them. I almost dropped it. We're gonna look at them and it's gonna be fun. Do you understand me? It's gonna be fun. You don't understand me, do you? You better understand me. My friends. <laughs> understand the situation that we're in right now. All right. Is that a Beck shirt? No, it's a Heck shirt. My wife did this. PsychicCircleOddities.com. Go check it out. I think this shirt might be sold out, but she's got a ton of other good shirts and pins and stuff. 
it's, it's, it's the holiday season, baby. Go grab yourself a gift at PsychicCircleOddities.com. How many ads has been in this video? <laughs> There's only been one intentional ad, and that's the RPGs one. And now suddenly I'm talking about Legacy Comics. I'm talking about PsychicCircleOddities.com. <laughs> anyway, it's my wife's store. I love this shirt. And I love supporting my wife, so it's a double whammy. Um, all right. So, where the hell were we? Super Chats, that's right. Let's see what everyone's been up to, man. It's been a while since we've been on stream, and I'm excited. I'm excited to see what what's going on with everybody, uh, how everyone's doing this week. I love that thumbnail, man. I forgot I did that already. Uh, all right. Uh, here we go. Super Chats. Pop it out, baby. Pop it out. Damn, look at y'all. Alex Kendall, first super chat of the day, Pog. <laughs> I don't know what Pog means, but I have heard it. Everybody says it, so I'm assuming it means good. Positive or good is what Pog stands for. <laughs> Eduardo Beltran, train, tran, Eduardo Beltran. Any recommended books that helped you in your career? Um, yeah, you know, we got... um. All right, so, yeah. <laughs> Built to Sell is a good book about building businesses. It's a good book, Built to Sell. Um, uh, oh, what the fuck is it called? There's a book about, like, minimalist lifestyle. Oh, I can't believe I can't remember the name. This is a huge book for me. It's called, like, the... Egg, 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 existentialism or some shit. I don't remember what it was called. Fuck! I don't remember what it's called. The point is, it's a great book. How am I supposed to recommend it? All right, hold on. Let me see if I can look it up real quick. Book on minimalism. Was it minimalism? No. No. Oh, there it is. Essentialism. That's what it's called. Essentialism by Greg, Mc Mc Greg McCallum. It's a good book. It's a book that's all about like stripping things down to their basics so that you you only do the things that you're excited about. There's a there's a line in it about if the if it's not a definite yes, then it's a definite no. Uh, that sort of stuff. So essentialism is good. It's a good book. Um, but yeah, Built to Sell as well is a great book. It's about building businesses. Um, if you're talking about career. Um, I love I I love anything by Malcolm Gladwell. I know that's a bit of a it's a bit of a, like a, what are you, a wine mom? Like, he's a great writer, man. He's a, he's a great journalist. He's a great writer. He writes in an interesting way and gets across interesting topics. Um, David and Goliath, is, is, I mean, they're like more inspirational than anything. Um, David and Goliath is good. Um, uh, his more recent one, Talking with Strangers, I felt like it was a little obtuse, but, and it was kind of missing the point on certain things. Um, but I thought it was still pretty interesting. There, there were a lot of really interesting anecdotes about it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Grandma's lasagna. Howdy, partner. Hope you're having a good day. Thanks, bud. I appreciate that. Venshi. Hey, Aaron. I'm very sleepy, so I won't be here for the whole stream, but I wish you good luck on your polls. Much love and thank you for all you do. Thank you, Venshi. I appreciate that. Um, Chris V. Hey, Shuffle Master. Love your Among Us video. Thanks, man. Those are fun. I would do those more and more, honestly. I feel like Among Us is sort of falling out of fashion right now, but if people still want to see more, we might we might organize some more. Everyone's been, you know, we don't re usually do, like, you know, guest stuff or, like, crossover stuff with Game Grumps just because our schedule's so fucked. But everyone seems, like, totally game for Among Us. Like, when, when I reach out to people, I think there was only one person that said no because of a scheduling conflict. Like they were, they were in like another state or something. <laughs> but like every when I reach out to something and like, hey, you want to play Among Us on this specific day on this specific time? They're like, yeah, dude. <laughs> it's like, okay, that was easy. So <laughs> uh, that's why we usually don't collaborate with people because we have such a rigid schedule with recording. I think most streamers and stuff when they collab, it's just like, hey man, you want to come on my stream today? <laughs> it's like, I don't have time today. Uh, Karma the Night Owl, thank you for the RPG stickers, man. Got a monk, geomancer, harpy, white mage, and rare shiny sword man with blabo. Very nice. 
Good good luck today and stay safe. Hell yeah, man. Very nice. Love a good rare. Rakutsko. Do you have a schedule for your streams or here, or is it just whenever? I'm really excited for the charity stream. Uh, thanks. Uh, I am too, man. Um, the schedule, I still don't have a rigid schedule for streams. Usually it's Tuesdays and Fridays at 3 p.m. Pacific. That's what I'm trying to keep consistently, but I can't always do that, as is evidenced by this week and last week. Um, so I hesitate to announce it. Um, people are sort of getting the rhythm that those are the times that I stream. Um, but yeah, I can't really, I feel like my schedule's so packed as it is. Like, I feel like I have to wedge these streams in and, and I love them. So that's why I, I make them happen. Um, so technically no, but it's usually Tuesdays and Fridays at 3 p.m. Pacific. Ryan Yance, very glad to watch you stream today. I won't be able to watch much though. Only the best polls for you. Excited for the Kingdom Hearts stream if it happens. Uh, it's going to happen. I'm going to make it happen. Um, I'm just not sure exactly when, because it's something that, uh, it's an undertaking, man. It really is, like, because obviously I want to start at a decent hour. I'm probably going to start around noon, um, and then it's going to take, like, 36 hours or something like that to, to finish this game. Um, it did for the last one. The last one was, like, 32 or 36 hours, um, and I think this one's just as long. So that's, like you know, the whole day and then the whole next day and then I have to sleep. <laughs> so it's like, damn, dude, it's yeah, it's an undertaking. Uh, so it's it's hard to find time for that kind of big chunk, continuous chunk. Uh, Elio Iannotti, Iannotti, Elio, In oh, man, I'm so sorry. Hey, Aaron, just wanted to truly thank you. Monday was one year I lost my dad to cancer and your streams help and mean so much to me. That's well, I'm I'm really grateful that, that that is helping you positively, man. I'm sorry to hear about your dad. You, the Grumps, Dan, and everyone mean a lot to me. Let's have some digi fun. We're gonna have some digi fun, baby. It's gonna be a chill one, man. What the fuck? Focus on my damn face. It's gonna be a fun one, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be chill. You know, I, I've I've I need to have a chill stream. I think the last one was pretty chill too, but I need to have a chill stream, man. It's been a lot of stress this month. Let me tell you something. It's been a lot of stress this month. Um, and I think it's probably only going to get stressful until I take some time off. And then for me, time off is stressful because I'm, I'm always doing shit. So taking time off is like, what, I don't, I don't do anything now? What, how do I function? <laughs> it's, a wild, it's a wild brain, man. It's a wild brain. Glue Saul. Your cats are really cute. I wish I could have a kitty, but I'm allergic. Please share a funny story about the kitties. Um, funny story about the kitties. Uh, Mimi and Otto hate each other. <laughs> Every so often they'll get along, but for the most part they fight all the time. Um, what's a funny story? They're not really funny. They just kind of lounge around. <laughs> They're just cool company, man. They're chill. Do I have a funny story about the cats? I don't think so. They're munchkins. Well, I don't call them that anymore. They're called minuets now. I guess munchkin was kind of a like a mean term. Um, minuets. They, they're long-haired and they have tiny little legs. So they have this weird ability to stand on their back legs. So, like, meerkats. So if they're, like, if they want to look over a, a surface or if they're, like, up on a high surface and they want to see something on the ground or whatever and they want to get, like, a view, they'll, like, they'll get up on their back legs and just, like, look around. And they can be up there for, like, a full minute. Like, they they have full control on their back legs. So it's adorable. <laughs> uh, all right. Sam Rush. Hello, Aaron. I hope you're having a good day. Also, can I just say something about... So, so apparently... Goddamn, focus on my goddamn face. What the hell? This fucking Pokemon thing is pulling focus all over the place. So, uh, there's a thing going around about cats named Mochi. How it's like a real basic thing to do. We named our cat Mochi like 12 years ago. It's an old ass cat. And we named it was before Big Hero Six, so I don't want to hear anything about fucking naming your cat Mochi and shit. Shut up. <laughs> it's a cute name, and he looks like Mochi. He's a little white puff. 
God damn. People talking about... People talking about criticizing names. Shut up! I'll kill you. What, do you want me to change the name of my 12-year-old cat? Jesus. All right. Sam Rush, hey Aaron, hope you're having a good day. I'm making a Pink Shuffle Master themed drink coaster to send. As always, I send my luck and love. Thanks, man. I've always got a drink, so that'd be I would actually I would use that. I would use the hell out of that. Thank you. What the hell's going on with the camera here? Why why can you see more? Maybe the camera got knocked or something. That's interesting. I usually have it framed so like right here is where you stop, but now you can see stuff. And there's like cards right here. Damn! <laughs> Bitch, you live like this! <laughs> no. <laughs> That's that's how this is fine. All right, Zach Swanson. Hey man, my man. Way to go! Nearly pulling out the win on your first episode of EDH and Chill. I know I was so close. I was so close. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Pleasant Kenobi invited me on EDH and Chill. We played some Commander Magic: The Gathering, and I was so close to winning. I was like one turn away from winning, and then motherfucking Vince. They had a stupid Perforos deck and burned me. Alright. <clears throat> uh, the booster box is for Digimon. So, De Digimon is not technically out yet. It comes out in January. This was a pre-release. So I was able to get these during the, the, the weekend that it was pre-released. So don't worry if it's it's not sold out. It's not even for sale yet. So that's why, that's why you can't find them. <laughs> Zach Swanson. Oh wait, I already got that. Um, oh no, I didn't finish it. Hell of an opening hand and didn't even need to cast a commander. Here's hoping to see you on again. Good luck, have fun. You know, with that Knights deck, I'm, I barely ever cast, uh, Gwyn. She's too expensive. Um, and then when she does get out, people get really scared and they remove her right away. So, I would say most of my matches with that deck, with the Knight, the Knights deck, this one, I, uh, I, I rarely cast Gwyn. But sometimes she comes out and she's a menace. You know what I'm saying? Because she has menace. Come on! <laughs> All right. Beardy W. Hey, Aaron, if you're interested in collecting Yu-Gi-Oh, the Yokai and Dragon Maid arc archetypes are for you. Check them out. Love you, man. Shuffle it out. Uh, yeah, Dragon Maid would be fun. I'm going for Melfies. Melfis. Melfies? I don't know. I'm going for Melfies. Focus on my face, baby. I gotta get rid of this this thing. That's what's pulling focus, man. Is this this Pokemon deck? It's just, it's making my face out of focus. Newt, hey Aaron, love your stuff. I'm leaving for Navy boot camp in a few months, and I'm gonna miss a lot of Game Grumps and Shuffle Masters. So I'm getting it in while I can. Much love. Hey man, that's okay. Download them to your phone or whatever. I don't know if they let you have a phone. That's probably why you can't watch it because you don't have a phone. Um, but that's awesome, man. Navy boot camp. Good luck, man. I've I, I've heard it's tough, but it sounds like you got the gumption for it. Kane Anderson, Aaron, I miss your streams. Finals are next week, so I'm gonna be rewatching a bunch of your streams to unwind during studying. Uh, right on, man. Thanks for doing that. I, I hope you enjoy them. Unwind a little. Kuragari Rio, hey Aaron, glad you're opening more than Poke Poke Pokeagio. <laughs> I always appreciate seeing you do your thing. Today is football. Today is indeed football. Um, yeah, man, I was really excited for this. You know, I don't... I watched, like, the first season of Digimon when I was a kid. I don't remember a goddamn thing about it. I was more into the virtual pet. Um, I was way into the virtual pet. Uh, I, I, I've told the story already, but just a briefly thing. I always, I always attributed the trend of Digimon in our school to me. Uh, and I know that's probably not true, but I, was, I would frequent the Bandai website because I was a nerd... Uh, and so I would go there every day. It was a part of my routine when I went home and went on the internet. I'd like look at all my web rings, my Mega Man web rings, and and then I'd go to Bandai.com and see if there were any new announcements. And then so like the day they announced Digimon, I was on the website and I was like, whoa, I'm getting it. And then like day one when it came out, I got one, and uh, and I brought it to school. And everyone was like, whoa, what is this? And I was like, it's Tamagotchi, but you can like fight. And it's like, whoa, I'm gonna get one so I can fight you. And then. And then more people got it. So I was like, hell yeah, I'm a trendsetter. I'm the one who started the Digimon trend. But it's like, of course not. It's not It's not true at all. It just was going to be popular no matter what. All right. <clears throat> James Coltass. Love you, Arnold. Ducklet-themed gummy ships soon? Hell yeah. Well, I mean, we'll do some gummy ship stuff on uh, when I do the stream. How about that? 
Ratchet, one, two, one, four, six. I wanted to thank you for the teacher advice from last stream. It meant a lot, man. You really are such a special dude. I appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, man. I, it's, I'm glad it helped. You know, I'm not. Listen, when people ask me for advice, I, take it with a grain of salt, baby, because I am a guy who is funny on the internet. I'm not. I'm not a teacher. I'm not a philosopher. I'm not an economist. I don't, I don't know any of that shit. I'm just a guy who opens cards and is funny on the internet and I play video games. Ha ha. So if you ask for advice, I'll give you advice, but it's probably not going to be good. Magic Lars 15. Don't mind me just paying my weekly tithe to our kind shuff master Shuffleton. Thank you, Magic Lars. You may go. <laughs> okay. Nolan S. Digimon is the superior Pokemon. Fight me. I don't know. I'll fight you no matter what. I don't care what your opinion is. Just let's throw hands, baby. Uh, Heath B, Aaron Handsome, glad you're having fun. Your streams always make my day brighter. Heath B, you're making my day brighter, baby. I hope you enjoy yourself and have some fun, all right? Flamingo! That's crazy that Aaron Hansen invented Digimon. I did. I created it. I called up Mr. Bandai, and I was like, you better listen to me, punk. You make a little just, oh my gosh, he's not good enough. You need more. And that's how Digimon was created. Just so you know. Where did I leave off? Heath B. That's where I left off. Ta Toby Tom. Hey, Aaron. I love the Digimon card game, too. I just want to play some more matches. Also, an update. The Yogscast Jingle Jam hit over 2 million. Wow! Hell yeah! You can get Dream Daddy if uh, through the Jingle Jam. I don't remember exactly how it works. I was only on a couple emails because it's mostly, it's mostly Vernon that deals with Dream Daddy stuff. But that's, uh, that's awesome. Jingle Jam, baby. Go support it. CK. It's the Yogscast. Love those guys. CK, hey buddy, thank you for being you and all that you do. It's quite the inspiration. I hope you're doing okay lately. Loves Butto. Thanks, CK. I appreciate it. Malthazar, I'm still working right now, but you get that thing? Yeah. Oh, the 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 nibbler. Nah, I haven't checked the mail in a while, dude. Uh, I will, I will, well, I'll check it though. I'll make sure we get it. Um, I did get, here, check this out. I believe it was Dark Fool Dave. It's a little, it's a little paint. I put it down here. It's a trash can, so you can, you can be reminded of of me and Dunsparce having a go. I don't want to say having a go, but it's adorable. Look at this fucking thing. Come on, it's, it's wonderful. I love it. <laughs> love it, man. All right, Kate, first Shuffle Master stream. You are awesome, and you always brighten my day. Woo, baby. Thank you. I'm glad. I hope you enjoy yourself. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Mmm. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> All right. Sorry to skip ahead in the line, but Funkle Stiltskin, which is a hilarious name, says, "If the trading card economy does crash and burn, like some folks are saying it will, do you think you'll be doing more or less shuffle masters?" Uh, if the if if the trading card community was going to crash and burn, it would have been now. It would have been during quarantine because people can't get together and play trading card games. But the funny thing is it did the opposite. It exploded because people, like, just want some comfort and opening cards is comforting and fun. Uh, and it's a very hoarder mentality. I don't know. There's a whole, like, psychology behind it that it, it goes into that we're all stuck inside all day. I don't think trading cards are ever going to fall out of style, man. It's just, they've been present since the 1800s, man. Like, it's just, everybody loves trading cards. And even even though, you know, I would say, like, probably the mid-2000s, there was, like, kind of a lull um, in, in trading card stuff. But, like, it was still there. It's never been not in grocery store aisles at the checkout counter, you know. Like, it's trading cards, they are what they are, man. People just like to collect things. They're cheap. They're easy to make. You, they're everybody's favorite characters are on them. I don't think they're ever gonna go away. Ashley Bull, Bull Clan here. Always good to see you stream. Now, Powerpuff Girls, a T Rex, and Freddy Krueger. Eat one, start a business with one, and game with one. Okay, so Powerpuff Girls, a T Rex, and Freddy Krueger. Uh, I have a choice to eat one, start a business with one, and game with one. Uh. Uh, fuck. That's a terrible, these are terrible choices. 
I don't like this at all. Uh, I would, I would start a business with the Powerpuff Girls because they would take it serious. I would game with Freddy Krueger because I'd probably win because of his stupid fingers. And then the T-Rex, I would eat because, goddamn, in Dragon Ball, whenever he cuts off a tail of a dinosaur and he brings it home and he's got, like, the big slice of meat, it looks delicious. <laughs> That's what I'd do. All right, Raz McBerry, bring on Ross. His cold heart will chill the room. I'm kidding. Don't tell him I said that. Love you, Ross. I'm going to tell him you said that, and he's going to be mad. He's never going to talk to you again. So watch what you say. I'm just kidding. Justin Cochran, hey there, you beautiful video game boy. I hope you get some good alt art cards, and if you fall in love with the TCG, I would love to play against you with my purple deck. I don't know what purple deck means. Maybe I'll learn today. Um, but yes, that would be lovely. Uh, I hope I get some good alt art cards too. I'm going for Beezle, Beezlemon, Beels, Beelzemon, Beezlemon, Beelzemon, Beezlemon. I'm going for that one. There's three secret rares in the entire set. In this set, there's three secret rares. Um, so I'm going for all of them, obviously. I think there's like one per box or something. Uh, Avery Gerwin, just wanted to tell you Seb McKinnon's brother wrote some books and Seb illustrated them. The Moon's Daughter by Liam McKinnon, if you're interested. I'd love to check them out. Seb finally started selling his paintings to the Magic Collector community. And I was like, hell yeah, I get to own a Seb original. I don't get to own a Seb original because they're fucking expensive. Everybody wants Seb art. It's like a nut that's been waiting to happen for like 10 years. <laughs> There's no way I can afford Seb's art. It's way too expensive. But I am getting some, some art framed. I, have, uh, I haven't fully decided what I'm going to put up, up here yet. But I have a bunch of magic art, original magic art. It's not Scred and it's not Tragic Slip. I couldn't get a hold of those. They were too expensive. Well, I couldn't find Scred and Tragic Slip was way too expensive. Um, but it's going to be some magic art. I think I'm going to put Gary up here. So I have the sketch, the, the pencil sketch, which is basically the fucking finished thing. Like, he really went all out um, on the new Grey Merchant of Asphodel. So from Theros, Beyond Death. So I, I'm, I'm probably going to put Gary here. Um, and then I also have... And then I, I still want to put the Shuffle It, shuffle it Cascade here. Uh, but we'll see. <laughs> Alright. I have a bunch of other magic art, too. I've got, I've got some stuff from Ravnica. and uh, I've got Trin from the C20 deck, the Kudro deck. Um... The Jesper by Jesper. All right. Strawberry, what did Yoda say when he saw himself in... Okay, hold on. Mmm. Hold on. There I go. Mmm. What did I say when I saw myself in 4K? Hmm? HD, am I? Mmm. Funny joke. Okay. That's a good one. That's not bad. Mick Pimp Daddy, Kink Muffin. Do you think beavers would give a damn about getting waterlogged? Shut up! Just shut up! <laughs> Jazz before it was cool. Hi, Aaron. You, I used to be Kiwi857. I really appreciate all you and Dan have done to keep putting out videos during the Backstreet Boys reunion tour. I watch them every day and my with my B-Fast, and it starts my day off right. Stay healthy, big cat. Hi to Susie. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. I will say one thing, if I can get a little real for a second. Um, it's been fucking hard. And, it, like, listen, I know I've got it easy, and I've got it totally fine. I can keep working. You know, everything is going fine on, you know, in, in terms of, like, game grumps and everything. Like, I'm fine. Emotionally, it's been fucking hard. Because game grumps... I always say this when everybody asks me for advice on, like starting to stream or whatever, and, and I always say, just just do what you enjoy. Just have fun, and your voice will come out naturally. And it's true, um, and that's why I give that advice. Uh, it's been tough, man. Doing the remote Game Grumps thing, it's not easy. Uh, and, it's, and, it, and it frequently can be not fun. Um, 
and you know we try to make it fun as much as we can. Uh, and I think we've been putting out some pretty good episodes, especially with Don Gon Ronpa. That's been that's been awesome, um, but it's been tough. Uh, so I appreciate you saying that, man. Um, you know, I think there was, I think there was a, there was an impasse where we were like, should we put out less? Uh, but I'm glad that we decided to put out more because I think people really need it right now, uh, and you know I'm glad people are, are connecting with what we're putting out there. So I appreciate that, man. Stinky man. Hey, Aaron, glad to see you, and good luck on the polls today. Who's today's sponsor? It's RPGs, of course. Also, uh, we've got a... a th this box was given to me by Legacy Comics. You can go check them out, LegacyComics.com, and they're also a brick and mortar in Glendale between Central and Brand, so go check them out. Um, but it's mostly RPGs! RPGs.com slash... That's it. RPGs.com and then GameGrips.com slash merch. It's my pin set. It's great. Go check it out. All right. I drew it. Uh, Casey Ray, I'm glad to be sitting here with my best friend Callum watching you. He really admires you, and I'd love it if you could shout him out. He loves Digimon. Uh, hell yeah. Uh, shout out to Callum. <laughs> All right. No, we're not. We're not going to stop Game Grubs. That's not, that's not what I was saying. It was just we would slow it down because it's not, you know. The, I mean, we're definitely holding out on a lot of series that we want to do because until we can get back together, you know. Um, uh, Link's Awakening we really want to do, but I don't want to do that remotely. Basically anything that's on a console, um, I would really love to do. Demon Souls as well, I'd really love to do a playthrough of Demon Souls, but I don't want to do it remotely. I want to do it in the same room. Um, it just is what it is. But I'm glad Donagon Ronpa is like the perfect, it's on PC, It's it's got the right pace for us to do it remotely. Donagon Ronpa honestly was a blessing. Uh, so, that's, that's been great. Okay. Harriet. Hey, Aaron, really looking forward to seeing these cards today as we have to wait till next year till the UK gets them. Hope you're doing okay, good sir. Uh, we do too. We have to wait until next year to get them. This is a pre-release. I, I, they don't sell these right now. We, so I'm, I'm feeling great that I was able to grab a bunch. KP, hey Aaron, what was that 36 hour game you were saying? Only arrived as you said it. Also love seeing you on PK's Commander, you did great. Thanks man. Um, I was talking about Kingdom Hearts. I'm gonna be doing a Kingdom Hearts stream. Kingdom Hearts 2, um, I think the 20th, uh, to benefit my mom's charity Healing Horse Therapy Center. Um, I've always had a, a hilarious love-hate relationship with Kingdom Hearts. Um, I both love it and hate it, hence love-hate relationship. Uh, so. The first Kingdom Hearts stream that I did that raised a bunch of money for my mom's charity, it was awesome. Um, and it was super fun for me. And I just, I have the kind of personality where, like, the idea of beating Kingdom Hearts in one sitting is really appealing to me and really fun. So I, I can't wait to do that. Um, Brian Milhorn, hey, Aaron, just got my RPGs pins and pulled the Ultra Rare Warrior pin. Nice, dude. Uh, sending my luck to you and hopes you get some sweet pulls today. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, congratulations on that, and thanks for getting some RPGs. Isaac Manzano. Hey, Aaron. Shuffle Master is such a blessing. So glad you enjoy card games like this. I made some designs to thank you in return, so I hope it's fine to share it with you in some way. Uh, yeah, man. Just uh, tweet him at me, at Shuffle Master. I'll check it out. Michael Weitzman, thank you. Focal Point Exposure. I like the one where Aaron talks about cats a lot. You got it. I'm going to keep talking about cats. If somebody wants me to talk about cats, I'll talk about cats. I don't give a shit. IRL Meme. Hey, Aaron, good luck on polls. Any interest in opening VTuber cards? Hollow Live Rebirth for you boosters just launched, and they've got some funky rarities. I don't know what that means. Uh, yes, I'll open whatever cards. I don't give a fuck. I just love opening cards. Michael Weitzman, Aaron, you convinced me to get back into magic, and I just bought a box of a Corios collector's booster box and a fat pack. Damn, you fucking went all out right away, huh? Uh, that's awesome, man. I'm happy to hear that. Ink Spawns, hi, Aaron. Thought you'd like to know my dog scared my cat, and she farted in fear. It stunk. Did you open the pack Ethan gave you? Love ya, and hi to Susie. I haven't. I'm going to open, so I'm, I'm starting a collection of every Pokemon booster pack that exists so like obviously I got base set I'm gonna try to get I'm gonna count first edition and regular as a, di as a different set so I want to get a first edition base set uh, booster pack but yeah here's the first edition team rocket pack that he's got I've got a regular team rocket at home and then obviously ones that are pretty easy to get XY evolutions burning shadows hidden fates uh, unified minds cosmic eclipse etc etc and I got a bunch more at home 
I'm probably going to bring these home. Probably going to bring these home uh, so that they don't get ruined uh, if there are foils in there. Because I'm noticing that some of my cards are getting ruined here. Which I love. Uh, Zindor, Blind Let's Plays. Hi, Aaron. Two years ago, I lost my dream job after working for four years. I remember coming home totally broken, clicking on the new episode of Guts and Glory. You did the impossible, making me smile that day. That's great, man. Man, Guts and Glory, that's a weird, enduring series. Um, I'm glad people liked it so much. Alicia, and I'm grateful that, that we did that for you, man. Alicia LeBlanc. Hi, baby boy. Kiss. I got a Shuffle Master shirt in my Game Grumps Gashapon box. I love it. My favorite pajama shirt. Ehehehe. <laughs> Y'all go buy merch. Uh, you heard it from Alicia. Go buy merch at gamegrowth.com slash merch. You can get our PGs there, too. <laughs> uh, Flamingo, once again, thank you. Always cool to have you here. Uh, Jayton Fwamers. Uh, RIP Bodyguard Theme Deck 2020-2020. Hog in the Focus. He had a good run. Good luck tonight. I know. I love that thing. I love this, man. It's so cool, but it was pulling the focus from my face. <laughs> Who would have thought, man? Uh, Tim Gieslar. Thanks for the fun over the years. Please crack open a Pokemon pack in my name. All right, when we get to Pokemon, I'll do it. Tim. Uh, all right, Digimon. Let's open one of these. Uh, let's open one of these promo packs, dash packs, because I want to see how curled these cards are. I mean, it's like you can already see. I don't know if that's if that's if you're able to see that. It's it's already pretty fucking curled. Uh, so what do we get here? Hold on. So you get. I don't know the reasoning for, for these pet like what's the, how you get these packs, and then there's this, promotion pack. Uh, but the, I have a bunch of these, dash pack, dash pack, and I don't know if these are unique cards, if these are specific promo cards, or if these just are just, oh, does it say on the back? Oh, it does, five types in total. Agumon, Gabumon, Metal, Seedramon, Puppetmon and Machindramon is what you could pull from these. Oh, they're alternate arts. Okay. You get a dash pack for every 12 boosters you buy. I see. They're all alt arts. Okay, well, let's open one. Let's see what we got here. I think it's just one card in the pack. Maybe a card to... Uh, I think it's upside down. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's already, like, super curled. I mean, it's like, whatever, I guess. Uh, oof, oof, look at that. Oh, oh, it hurts. I can uncurl it. I watched some videos on how to uncurl it, and it, you just basically use heat again. So, all right, here we go. Boom! Machine Dramon, baby! Oh, is that like the super rare one? Oh, shit, it is. Right away, we got the fucking super rare. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Nice. Uh, I've, I've tried pressing cards to uncurl them, and uh, it does not work. I, I did it for many different cards. It, it simply does not work. Period. Uh, the only thing that I have heard to uncurl cards is heat. Um, and I have seen that work. I have not tried it myself. But if you lay something on a consistently heated surface and just let it settle on its own, it'll it'll settle back into normal shape. So, uh, pressing cards do not work, period. I've tried it, it does not work. But there you go. Got a little machine drum on there. Let's open another one, fuck it. <laughs> right? It's like, fuck it, I don't care. Ugh, just, I just, it's like, it's, it's one card. Like, I just don't wanna, I don't wanna fuck it up. Boom, baby! Metal Seedramon! Metal Seedramon, baby. Look at him. He's got a cannon for a nose. Man, look at these. Look at that foil. Again, very, very curled. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. There you go. Seedramon, baby. God, look at look at how curled it is that it's, it's making this, like, bubble up. Oh, that's so sad. Uh, all right. There we go. Two, two alt art cards, they're different. That's cool, that's fun, right? That's fun. Just throw that in the trash. All right, let's open some real packs, all right? We don't want these promo packs, fuck them. I mean, I'll probably open the. Well, you know what? I'm actually curious about this one pack right here, this promotion pack. This one does not seem to be curled at all. 
Um, so I'm assuming it does not have foils in it. <laughs> I'm just going to cut it. Fuck it. Oh, it shows what you get. Okay. Uh, oh, right here. Look at that. Oh, do you, do you just get, like... Exa oh, even is a little curled. How about that? Oh, they're all hollow. Okay, great. Agumon, Biumon, Gabumon, Gomamon, Potamon, and Gatomon. Okay, so you, you always get the same thing in those packs, I'm assuming. But look at that. Ha <laughs> ha Look at this baby boy. Patamon. I recognize him. He was in the cartoon, right? You got Gomamon. He's flying through the air. The greatest of ease. Ha <laughs> ha! And then fucking Gabumon. He's got somebody else's skin on his head. And Biomon. And Agumon, baby. Agumon! Look at him. He's got a card. He's got a trading card. And everyone else is trying to get it, man. That's how I feel right now. Everybody else is trying to get in my in my steez. I mean, these are all foils, so I gotta sleeve them all. That's just how it goes, man. It's just that's that's my way. Sleeve the foils. I do enjoy sleeving. I will say that. The only thing I don't enjoy about sleeving is double sleeving. And I double sleeve decks that I really care about. I double sleeve my magic decks and my Pokemon decks. Um, and uh, it sucks. It sucks. Because nev they never stay on, and you have to like shove a card in with it to like keep the, the the first sleeve on, and I hate it. Don't like it at all. But keeps your cards keeps your cards safe, so I'm okay with that. All right, let's open an actual booster box, huh? Booster box. I know there's other super chats. So I'll get to them after we open some packs, huh? How about that? Get to them. We open some packs, baby. There you go. Ooh, look at this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got some... What the fuck? We got some promo stuff. We got Sora Takanochi. I remember Sora. They are pretty cool. Butterfly on the shirt and everything. Butterfly on the shirt. I can eat lots of yogurt. Let's open this up. Is this a foil? I couldn't tell if it was the plastic over it, if it was actually a card that was shiny. It's not. It's fine, though. It's flat. Nice flat card. Oh, yeah, it is a foil. It's kind of like a really subtle... It's got that, like, oil spill foiling going on. Sora Takanochi. Nice. I, I hope that's worth something. Don't know if it is. And then we got a little special box promo pack. I'll save that to the end, I guess. Look at these. Look like... Look at like like... Looking like Cadbury chocolate, man. It's like Commander Legends over here. Damn. Lots of packs. Let's uh, let's do my favorite thing. You ready for my favorite thing? <laughs> Gets me every time. Mmm. All right. So each box, what do we got? Um. 24 packs per box. Oh, that's not that many. 24 packs per box. Shuffle them up. Shuffle them up. Hell yeah. I like how I never shuffle cards. I only ever shuffle booster packs. Look at that. Look at that perfect zipper shuffle right there. And then these two stragglers. Beautiful. All right. Got a stack of cards over here. They're f flying all over the place. Damn, how many? 12 cards? Yeah, this is a thick stack right here. Thick stack. All right, so check this out. We got three secret rares, so we're going for Beelzebon, Beelzemon, whatever the fuck his name is, and all the other ones. And uh, commons, uncommons, rares, super rares. So that's not so. That's not Yu-Gi-Oh levels of like, there's two commons and 5,000 rares. It's like, oh, okay. You know, that's like, what, 65 rares, 68 rares in all? So there's more commons and uncommons. That's, that, I feel good about that. I feel pretty good about that. If, if we're talking about, like, bindering cards... All right, this is... I'm going to cut these packs. If we're talking about uh, bindering cards, I, I feel like after a couple boxes, I'll probably have, like, a pretty near full collection. I don't know what the order for these packs are, so bear with me. Um, oh, they're, they're flat. The cards are flat. Oh, good. Woo! That feels good. All right, it's Kaimon. Which means make, I think. To make. Tsukai. Tsukau. Uh, 
Night Raid? Who's that? <laughs> I don't know who any of these characters are. There's a fucking mushroom! Mushroom on! Oh, very creative, guys. <laughs> Meanwhile, I got fucking Mush Boy over here in RPGs. Today's sponsor! You can get RPGs! <laughs> okay. Gomamon, baby! Which one's Gomamon? I can't tell. We got Spiral Sword. It's a Robocop over here. <laughs> Didn't know he was in Digimon. That's fine. We got Kokuamon. Kokuamon. You know, you, you gotta respect them for keeping the Japanese names. And it's not like, you know, Electrical Plugmon, you know? Alright. V Nova Blast. Is that an attack <clears throat> that anybody can have or just him? I don't fucking know, man. Who knows about Digimon? Everybody doesn't know about Digimon. This is such an obscure... Nobody cares. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm obviously kidding. I know Digimon is huge. Gee whiz. Ground Ramon. Okay, maybe this one probably got an American name. Devimon, baby. Look at him. He's an uncommon. Scary. He's got that thigh gap, though. You know what I'm saying? Damn. What that thigh gap do? All right, Biomon. It's angry and flapping. And then we got Matt Ishida. Really, really dissonant name there for a second. It's like fucking George Tokugawa. <laughs> you know, like oh okay. And then we got oh we got two rares. Sick. Ikakumon. I think we I think you get two rares in each pack. But there you go. Look at that. I kind of like the you know it's kind of subtle. Just like a little little gilded foiling. Uh, on the edges, you know, nothing too s super overstated. Nice, dude. Matt. <laughs> Matt Ishida. Hey guys, I'm Matt Ishida. <laughs> Whoa, what's up? <laughs> oh, I keep farting. <laughs> Can't stop farting. <laughs> you know, I've been paid for comedy for the last. 15 years of my life, and this is where I've peaked. Hey guys, Matty Sheeta here. <laughs> Digimon. <laughs> Digimon. Digital monsters. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fucking shut up. Garurumon. Garuru Gamesh. We got smashed potatoes. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hold on. For the turn, the next time you would digivolve one of your green Digimon from level 5 to 6, decrease the digivolution cost by 4. What? 5 to 6? That's too much. Oh, but it's locked. You need a code. I don't have it. Hey, dude, it's Robocop! Nice! Robocop, Robocop monsters, Robocop is the champion. Kokatorimon! God, he is upset. This poor guy, somebody pissed in his milk, and he was like, no, I hate the taste of piss. I should have said, no, I hate the taste of milk, and then everyone would have laughed, but I wasn't that quick. Heart's attack. It's not a heart attack, it's a heart attack. Giving me a heart's attack, the kind I like. All right. Monzaemon. This is the teddy bear. They called him Teddy Mon. But I guess they decided, fuck that, he's Monzaemon now. But he used to be Teddymon. He was like the strong one. He was the one, if you trained it really, really well, and everything was really good, then you'd get him. Vilemon. <laughs> just, just, you know, it's, it's, it's like, it's stuff like this that's so on the nose, where I'm like, okay, what came first? You know, in the universe of Digimon, like, what came first? Did he show up and then he was like, oh, he's real vile and he's a Digimon. We'll call him Vilemon. Like, uh, did that, it was that? <laughs> Kyaromon. Again, I feel like there's, it's like, which one? What is this? Is that a Digimon? Or is, is so I'm assuming that's Kyaromon. But what's this? Fucking Kyaromon's pet? Hi, Andromon. Hi. <laughs> Anything else you got going on or just hanging out? Just got the other Digimon heads on your shoulders. That's cool. I guess this is an alt art. And this is also... No, this is Dark Darkmon. Whoa! 
Who is she? Hold on. D Digimon? What the fuck? Is this, is this is this Digimon? This feels like We Cross, dude. You can't do you can't show this on on children's television. Darkmon, come on. Oh, jeez, jeez whiz, cheese whiz. Yeah, mon. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> yeah, mon. Come on. Then we got Patamon, this fucking Kirby ass motherfucker trying to eat shit. Or is he screaming? Does he eat or is he scream? Or is he shoot blast out of mouth? Leave a comment now to show us. Yeah, yeah, Amon. Come on, man. I still don't know. Digi egg. Oh, is that what? Is it, is it different? Digi egg? It's a digi egg. While you have five or more cards in your trash, this Digimon gets what? How many? I've got a lot of cards in my trash, so I could probably play this card pretty well. All right. <laughs> this is so tough. All right, here we go. Yeah. Look, man, it's been a hard week. If my comedy is not on point, that's why. There you go, right in the trash. Uh, Dark Tyrannomon. Pretty cool. Is there a light Tyrannomon or... Repamon! It's got a little Kitsune head. Kitsune mask. There's a lot going on. There's a lot to digest here. So what do we got? Like a beaver? And the beaver's wearing like a fox mask. And it's also got like a necklace. And like anime hair. And then it's got like a sword tail that's like crooked. Ugh. Fuck, I don't know, man. Vilemon. Tyrannomon. Ty this looks like it was done by, like, a different artist. Like, like this was somebody's, like, fan character, and they were like, yeah, you could draw one. And, they, and then it's like, oh, I don't know about that, but I guess we'll use it. Nuclear laser. It's a weapon of mass destruction right there. Andromon. Impmon. Just kind of a sassy little creature. Baby Domon! Baby Domon! Ba Baby Domon? Baby Domon! Babe! Garuru. Garuga Meshmon. Mega Kabuterimon. I remember Mega Kabuterimon! Cause that name is ridiculous! What the fuck is Mega Kabuterimon? Kabuterimon! Digivolve to Mega Kabuterimon! <laughs> he's a bug. I mean, he's a bug. What can you say about it? Oh, shit! Oh, I skipped ahead. My bad. Galantmon, dude! We got a full art foil, I guess. Super rare? Yeah, secret rares are SEC, I think. Um, and then Terror's Cluster is also a rare. So you do get two rares, so that's kind of cool. Galantmon, and it's not curled. How about that? Not curled. I'll take that, and if I sleeve it, maybe it will continue to not be curled. These cards, by the way, are thick. These cards are thick. It's like Final Fantasy card game style thickness. Like, I don't know if it's just my brain playing tricks on me or something, but these cards feel thick. All right. I'm talking T-H-I-C, thee, see, thee, see, thee, see, thee. Why do I keep saying see, thee? All right, cutting, opening, beautiful. Right in the trash. Uh, we got Dolphmon, Dolph Lundgrenmon. He's got Echo the Dolphin over here. Whoop! That's the whenever I see I, I see this I see rings coming out of a dolphin's mouth I just think whoop! Kapurimon. It's just a fucking blob with eyes and a tail and a helmet. I guess that's a lot of detail, that, to be specific. I don't know why I'm like, Oh, look, it's just a fucking... I mean, it's like looking at this guy. Oh, he's just a fucking metal thing with legs and arms, and he's got, uh, like, a taser on his head and two red eyes, and it's, ah, oh, that's all he is. Like, it's stupid. Pumpkinmon. Boy, they really just don't care with Digimon, do they? I mean, not that Pokemon cares. I don't know, but it's just like, Pumpkinmon? It's a pumpkin. But it's not even a, it's a jack-o'-lantern. It's not just a pumpkin. 
It's clearly a jack-o'-lantern. Uh, Golden Ripper. That's what I call my dumps after I have a, that new um, grilled cheese burrito from Taco Bell, the Golden Ripper. Armadillo Mon. It's just a fucking armadillo, man. I don't know what to tell you. It's just a goddamn armadillo. <laughs> I guess. Great tornado. All right, man. Kuwagamon. Now this I can get behind. Look at this fucking monster, dude. You got this cute little guy. He's upset about it. He's like, I'll protect you. He's just going to fucking tear you to shreds, man. I hope there's a really violent episode of Digimon where this guy just tears somebody to shreds. Magnadramon. Feels like somebody who... Somebody was coming up with a name and, and just stumbled over the words. This one is called Mag... Magnad... Mag... Magnadrimon. Magnadr... Magnadrimon. You got it. Looking back on the good times... <laughs> it's... Isn't it... Like, Digimon... Okay, I... I I get it. I get the concept here. I'm assuming it's looking back onto like its first form or whatever. But isn't isn't the whole point of Digimon they like go back? I thought they go back. It's not like Pokemon where it's permanent. Like they digivolve and then they go back. So what the fuck? What he's thinking about the five minutes ago when he was not this? Alright. Togemon! a cactus. Why didn't they just call him Cactusmon? I don't know. And then we got a full art Venom Meodismon. Meo Meodismon? Meodismon? Meodismon is fucked up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, dude. All right. It's cool, though. It's very, very minimal foiling. I actually like that a lot, to be honest with you. I, I think it's kind of cool how they, they're very, like, they just kind of tease you with foiling. It's the little outline. They te it's, it feels premium, you know? It doesn't feel like they just laid a sheet of foil over a card. Like, it feels like very deliberate. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, oh, isn't it My Otis Mon? That's right, My Otis Mon. I remember that. He was in the TV show. Toge means cactus in Japanese. So Togemon means cactusmon. Perfect. You can't get any better than that, baby. I got all these tops of booster packs. Hey, who wants the tops of booster packs? Hey, comment if you want uh, one of these tops of the booster packs, and I'll spit on it, and I'll and I'll uh, I'll I'll dip it in like food waste, and then I'll send it over to you. All right. Blast fire. Wizard Mon, baby. It's just a fucking wizard. It's not even a wi what is it? This isn't a wizard. This is a like a car repair guy. He's wearing like a <laughs> like like coveralls that you would wear at a mechanic shop. Oh, Jesus. Gardromon. He's looking back on the good times. Being Gardromon is tough. But being mini Gardromon or whatever is so much better, man. Digi did did di Digitamamon. So it's digital eggmon. That's a cute pun. Digitamamon. Digital eggmon. Tamagotchi, baby. Kakatorimon. Hilarious. Dimension scissor. If one of your Digimon one of your Digimon gains the following effect for the turn when this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle and survives. Unsuspend it. All right, all right. I thought I was reading it, and I was thinking for a second, like, maybe I'll get a sense of what this game is all about. And then I hear shit like, unsuspend it. And I'm like, all right, I, don't, I have no fucking clue what the hell's going on. Love him. Favorite Digimon. By far, favorite Digimon. Love him. Love him. Vegemon, nice. Love him. Can't get enough. Titamon. <laughs> Tita 
Come on, baby. Look at him go. Why? I'm assuming it's like Titan. Titamon, baby. Tankermon? What? This is a Digimon? It's just a fucking... It's just a little cute girl fairy. It's Misty. Dude, it's straight up Misty. She's got like the suspenders. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Break Dramon. <laughs> okay, so, hold on. These two things exist in the same universe, just FYI. We got Tinkermon and we got Break Dramon. Oh, because of Tinkerbell. That makes sense. I, I know this word to mean a bad thing in Irish, so I try to avoid saying it, but they do it all the time in media, so fuck it. Break Dramon. There you go. Kari Kamiya. That's a character that I'm familiar with. Love it. And then Yokomon. Yoko. Yokomon. What does Yoko mean in Japanese? Does it mean plant? Does it mean scream? Why does it... Here's a thing I don't understand. So they don't make cards for like the super young forms. So they put it... They put it in the in the the like the second form card, so they put the little blob thing. To, ha, 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 they put that in here. I mean, it's cute, right? It's pretty cute. I've only seen the tip of the iceberg. What do you mean? Super young forms are incapable of combat. Combat. Oh, I mean, whatever. Like, sure. <laughs> You saying I can't send out a, a little baby Digimon to die on the battlefield? Well then, why do I even play? <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Oh, hey, he's a, for the old times, right? He was thinking about it, thinking about the old times. Hagurumon. Oh, Oku Okuwamon. Oku Okuwamon, baby. Look at him scream. S swing his arm. Very cute. Very cool. Gorillamon? I feel like there's more going on than just gorilla. Like, can I be frank with this? Like, this isn't just a gorilla. It's a fucking yeti with a goddamn sci-fi blaster on his arm! That is not Gorillamon! Come on! And also, like, why? What? <laughs> like, what's the deal with- <laughs> what's the deal with the fucking blaster arm? Armadillomon didn't have a goddamn missile launcher on its back. So why does Gorillamon have a fucking plasma blaster on his arm? <laughs> Nuclear laser. Where Garurumon? Here Garurumon. <laughs> Stop. Gobamon. I already got this. Jagamon. Jagamon, dude. Tentomon. I'm assuming Tentomon evolves into... Mega Kabuterimon! Cherrymon! That's a stretch. It's a cherry tree, I get it. But it's more a tree than it is cherry. So why do they call it Cherrymon? Why don't they call it Cherry Treemon? Or why don't they just call it Treemon? And the fact that it makes cherries is incidental. I feel like calling it Cherrymon... Like, I don't... He doesn't have, like, cherry attacks, does he? Maybe he does. I don't know. The point is, Symphony Number no. 1, poly poly Polyphony. Okay, I'm assuming that's a Digimon. Oh, fuck! Uh, oh, it's just a secret rare, but we got a Leopardmon! Leo, Le Leopardmon. <laughs> it's, it's Leopardmon. Alt-art, baby, look at that, and it's flat. It ain't fucking curved. I mean, it, I guess it's... No, no, it's pretty flat. I think it's just the sleeve that's... Hell yeah, man. We got Le Leopardmon. Leo Leopardmon. Fuck yeah, dude. That's sick. One per box. One per box, baby. I did sleeve Titamon. Or did I? I don't remember. Titamon's an uncommon, though. Change Leaperdon. What? 
I have no idea what everybody's going on about. I don't understand inside jokes with Digimon. Oh, I should probably sleeve uh, Symphony Number One, Polyphony. You're a Polyphony. <laughs> All right, Cherrymon, Guilemon, evolves from something. How do you know what it's supposed to evolve from? Can you just play it f to anything? Can you just play it into something? I don't understand. Because, oh, isn't it like... Because you can get different po Pokemon. You can get Digimon from... Oh, any red level 2. Okay, okay, okay. So it's color-based. Okay, I got it. Because that's how Digimon was, right? You could, like, there were a couple di Digimon you could evolve into, like, a Devimon or, like, a... Uh, what was the flame one? I don't remember. Mamamon? Oblivion Bird! Hey, guys! <laughs> I know I wasn't invited, but <laughs> I thought I'd bring some chips for everybody! <laughs> Oops, I fired off my nuclear rocket! <laughs> okay. Flare, 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 It's That's a mouthful. Flareizamon. Frigimon. <laughs> Frigimon. Frigidal monsters. <laughs> Pixiemon. Metal Greymon. There's my boy. Oh, I would always get him because I would refuse to treat my Digimon with anything but the utmost care. And so I always ended up with Metal Greymon and I found it so boring. I, I really wish that it wasn't based on how well you treat your Digimon because... Everybody in my school had a Metal Greymon. It was the best one. The Golden Ripper. River of Power. Uh, looks more like a nose gun. But sure. Kuwagamon. Jagamon. Cerberusmon. Very straightforward. And then we got a Vidramon, baby. And this one's pretty foily. This one's got like a foil border going on here. Look at him, V! That's cool, he's doing the V, and he's also got a V, and his name's Vidramon. So there's a lot of Vs going on. So that's pretty neat. Oh, that's a secret rare, holy shit! Whoa! I didn't even realize that. Uh, okay. Great, good for me. <laughs> I will take that. I'll take it all day and all night, baby. Very nice. I love it. And then we got Cerberusmon. Very cool. Well, thank you. This is fun. <laughs> All right. I don't have a top loader. All I got are these sleeves. I mean, I'll bring it home and I'll take care of them. I have two secret rares. No, I just had a full... I had a super rare. Super rare is what they... Yeah, super rare. Secret rare is SEC. So you know it's a secret rare. Uh, okay, Night Raid. Don't know what's going on there. Uh, Volcanic Dramon. They're just shoving words into these names. Like, they don't care what it sounds like. Oh, Boring Storm. Okay, got, yeah. Oh, I didn't want to sit around the whole time for it. So I just, I was like, ah, I'm out of here. This is a boring storm. Agumon, motherfuckers! Look at him! Basic ass motherfucking dinosaur fucker orange ass. Look at him. Yeah, nobody likes him. Uh, here's why Agumon didn't carry as far. All right. Here's why Agumon didn't carry as far as like a Pikachu or whatever, because he's orange. Orange is the most unappealing color, which is hilarious because Game Grumps branding is orange. Nobody likes orange. He's cute though. Wizardmon. I love yellow. Pikachu's yellow. Spiral Sword. Guilemon. You know, I, I gotta say, <laughs> I, I guess I just don't understand Digimon. It's Petermon. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's just a guy named Peter. <laughs> But it's a Digimon, so there you go. It's Petermon. 
It's just a guy named Peter. Can Petermon, like, have sex with humans? I don't know. It's a Digimon, but it's Petermon. Moving on. Back for revenge. Mega Kabuterimon. We got War Growlmon. <laughs> it's the dangerous thing about it. You gotta watch out for its War Growl. And then we got Ty, baby! Look at him with his fucking stupid ass hair! You know they were like, we gotta make a new Goku. Give him wild ass hair. Yeah, Ty. This is the only stuff that people care about, right? I mean, I don't know much about Digimon, but I know this is like the original cast and they like brought them back for like that movie or whatever, Try, Digimon Try or some shit. Um, but like there were new characters and like nobody gave a shit, right? And everyone still loves Ty and Matt <laughs> and, and, and the other ones, Kabuterimon, I don't fucking know their names. Uh, Adventure and Tamers. Okay, I'm assuming Adventure is the one with Ty and the other ones. I just remember there was an episode where they were like on a bed and it was like flying through space or some shit. That's all I remember. <laughs> Leomon. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's Chumon. I didn't mean to interrupt what you guys were doing, but I pulled a Chumon. So if anybody wants to write home to their mom about that I pulled a Chumon, now would be the perfect time because uh, I pulled a Chumon. So there you go. Ogremon. Looks like he's going to take a bite out of this. How I'm hungry, but I'm also going to beat your ass. Elecmon. You know, they could have just made Mega Man Elecman and then just called him Elecmon. <laughs> something funny. Heart's attack. Oh, oh, is it Toy Agumon? Oh, okay. He's made a Legos, but he's Agumon. What? <laughs> I'm loving this, man. What the fuck is this shit? What the hell, dude? <laughs> oh, and is he in the the dump? Okay, somebody threw him away. That's really sad. Poor toy Agumon. Kudamon, baby! Gotta watch out for his tiny fingers! Look at how tiny the fingers are! They don't even, they're not even shapes. They're just little sticks. Tiny fingers. How do you type? Must be difficult. Looking back on the good times, man. Before I was opening Digimon cards. Ha, <laughs> just kidding. We got Cheerinmon, baby. Cheerinmon is Cheerinmon. Devimon. And we got TK Takaishi, baby. Look at him. Ha ha! I'm six! Like, he's really excited, man. TK, he was like the, he was like the, he was like the, the computer one? Or no, no, he wasn't the computer one. The other one was the computer one. He's Matt's little brother. That's right. And then we got War Greymon. Nice secret rare right there. Very cool. Or not secret rare, super rare. My bad. Dude, War Greymon. Just teaching kids about. How glorious war is and how they should enlist today to help their country in their time of need. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know anything about Digimon, dude. Where's the Pikachu? Am I going to pull a... Am I going to pull a... Uh, pull a Charizard or what? Kudamon? Metal Tyranomon? Looks like, it looks like something happened to him, and he's just, he's going through it. And, like, he's kind of letting himself take it out on whatever he's doing, but at the same time, he's a little repressed. That looks like what's happened. Like, his like his girlfriend broke up with him that day, and he's just kind of like, no, I'm fine! But, like, he's putting a little bit of his anger into, into shooting blue orbs or whatever. That's what he looks like. Tyrannomon! Dimension Scissor, Repamon, Greymon, baby! Normal ass Greymon. This is the fucking Charizard, baby. This is him. Yeah. 
fucking yeah. Vegemon. Dude, you know Vegemon would be fucking chill as hell. He'd be like, let's order a pizza. And then you just chill and he'd be like, ha, 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 you want to get high? And like, it'd be like, yeah, man, Vegemon's dope. Saber Leomon. I don't like it. It's too detailed. I don't like it. It's too detailed. I don't like the face. It's upsetting. It's upsetting. You know, it's when, like, an artist who doesn't usually draw cute stuff draws, like, a Pokemon, and you're like, that's a little off. That's what that looks like. It's upsetting. Metal Greymon. Hey! Somebody help me with my arm! Needs a firmware update. Tatamon. Sumemon! I'd party with this guy. He'd probably eat all your chips. Um, okay, Mad Dog Fire. This is, I, this is a totally unfamiliar card style. Uh, it's got like a blue border. Mad Dog Fire. That's also when I eat the grilled cheese burrito at, at Taco Bell. That's, I get the Mad Dog Fire, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> we got more packs, man. We got more packs. Flip it open. Throw it out. You know what I'm saying? Throw it out. Here we go. Heat Viper. So this this uh, this exists in the same universe as the cute little the cute little uh, the cute little blob. The, the the Lego dinosaur. This is the same universe as the little Lego dinosaur. Uh, that's fun. Seasarmon. <laughs> C Caesarmon, Caesarmon, C Sar, Boring Storm, <laughs> fucking Gorilla Mon. This shit's wild, man. Like what? Pumpkin Mon, Leolmon, Leolmon, Demi Devimon. <laughs> it's gonna be. A they're gonna make a, a Digimon where the, the name is just like an entire rap song. Demi Demi Devi Money Demi Dibuma Dibemi Demi Demi Mon. Labramon. Everyone's favorite. Spider Shooter. Dude, if I had a, a weapon called Spider Shooter, it, that would be a game changer for any. Like, if, I, if somebody broke into my house and, like,. Try, it's like, oh, I'm gonna rob you, uh, gunpoint. I'd be like, don't, I've got a spider shooter. And they'd be like, I'm fucking out of here, dude. Koopy, Koopy, Koopy Mon. And then what do we got here? We got a, we got a Metal Guru Mon, baby. Look at him shooting, shooting goop out of his mouth. Bah! He's got a cough. Dude, you wear a mask, man. Look at all the fucking germs you're spreading. Koopy uh, Mon's cute, right? Cute little eyes. Hey, Life Noggin! My number one mod! How you doing, man? Don't tell Bird I said that. Alright? <laughs> Don't spread that around. Bird's not here, is he? Of course not. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. I gotta I gotta make uh <laughs> I gotta make all the YouTube guys. I gotta make Circle Tunes a mod. I gotta Did I make Flamingo a mod already? I don't remember. I gotta make everyone mods. Metal Greymon. We got a Heat Viper, baby. Digitamamon, baby! He's a fucking egg! He's got Leomon, Ogremon. I've gotten all these, baby. Blade of the True. Uh, Blade of the Truth or Blade of the False? Uh, I'll take Blade of the False. Or Dare. Blade of the Dare is what I should have said. Oh, I fucking messed up my own joke. Shut the fuck up, dumbass. Monodramon. Freemon! Looks like it hurts. <laughs> like, all I think of when I see this, obviously it's very cute. It's a little cat face and a little cat tail. And whatever, a frill. Uh, all I think of when I see this is, uh, what's his name? Makaku uh, in, in uh, Battle Angel Alita. That's what I think of. Is is the the guy and he's just a head with a spine. That's that's what I think of. 
All right. Goldsumon. He's just screaming, dude. He's just screaming. Looks like a Skylander. I don't know. There's something about him. All right. Labramon. We got Karamon. I, I'm assuming evolves from this one that we saw earlier. And then we got Joe Kiddo. Hey, kiddo, my name is Joe. He's a tamer. You can tell because it says it in his hair. It looks like he's just about ready to flick you off. Like, like they took like a burst shot. So they got like four pictures of him and like it's of him flicking him off. And they're like, oh, please tell me one of those burst shots is before he flicked you off. And it's like, oh, we, oh, we got one. Oh, thank God we can use that picture. We don't have to call him in for another photo shoot. Joe Kiddo. I'm hunting for secret rares, baby. There's only three, so I could probably get them all. I already got one. Hey, it's my boy! It's Nubamon! He's poop! He's poop! He's poop! He poops! He's covered in poop! And what is, is he holding? Is he going to eat it? Is he going to eat it? Is that is that like a fork and he's going to eat it? Oh, man. Horn Buster. Just got to bust open that horn, baby. Tsukaimon. Pagumon. Pagumon. Digivolve to Agumon. Digivolve to Blagumon. All right. Muchomon. It's like a luchador bird. Is it like breaking through space time? What is this? Atomic Ray. Atomic Ray Palpatine. <laughs> Shut up. All right. Darkmon, who is she? What the? How is this a Digimon? I don't understand. Oh, I'm sorry. Does, uh, d does Pagumon Digivolve into Darkmon? Can I raise myself a girlfriend? Is that, is that what the idea is here? It's fucking weird. I don't like it. Where Garurumon? Here, Garurumon. Shut up. Devidramon. It's like Devimon, but a Dragonmon. Flower Cannon. It's a cute little plant creature. TK, once again. Who wants it? Who wants it? I'll send it to you. Send me a hundred bucks and a kiss on the nose, and I will send you TK Takaishi, and I will sign it as TK. Um, not myself. I will sign it as TK. So just... Uh, to let you know that's what I will be doing. I will be signing every card as TK. It's going to be great. Gabumon. It always upset me that he's got arms. like Because he's got... He's wearing the skin of, what, his pre-evolution or whatever? He's wearing the skin... But these aren't real arms. These are, these are vanity arms. And then these are his real arms. It's upsetting. Gravity Crush. That's a Mega Man ability. Tsukaimon, but a different one. That's a sneaky little Tsukaimon. He ate the cookies, and he's like, I ate the fucking cookies. Don't tell anybody. It's like, oh, dude. Did Tsukaimon eat all the cookies? He's like, I'll never tell. Piximon. It's really upsetting. I'm going to be honest. This is really upsetting. For so many reasons. I will count them. Number one. It's a fucking weird baby face, but it has, like, these really adult human hands, like gorilla hands, and, like, really gross feet with talons. Number two, what, are its wings broken? Did he have to, like, stitch its wings back together? Number three, why has he got belts on his feet? Oh, I'm sorry, is he trying to keep his feet on? Like, what? Shut up. Go away, Piximon! It's a Digimon. It's, it's for kids. Agumon Expert. I would assume Agumon would be an Agumon Expert, yes. A little toy Agumon, love him. Garurumon. Radiation Blade. Whenever, whenever it's these... Whenever it's these, like like this kind of shit, where it's just like, oh, it's super nuclear attack or whatever, it's always just like a mess. Like the character's just a mess. 
It looks like if somebody took like a Gundam kit and then bought like a Godzilla kit and then just like was like, oh, I'll just put the arms from the Godzilla kit on the Gundam. Like that's what any of these creatures that are doing these attacks looks like. <laughs> All right, my Otismon. It's not your Otismon. It's my Otismon. Anjimon! Ripped ass angel! How much fanfic has been written about this fucker? And then we got Garudamon, baby. Udamon, Garudamon! Alright. It's shiny though. This is just straight up Blaziken, dude. I don't know what it's, it's Blaziken. That's all there is to it. That's what it is. Don't ask. Alright. All right, let's open this shit up. Blaziken, I don't care. Blaziken came first because it's better. <laughs> Pre-Blaziken, I don't want. No, no, let's not talk about Pokemon that way. Gorillamon, Armadillomon, hilarious. Like it's hilarious. I don't care who you are. It's Armadillomon, and it's an armadillo, and it's a Digimon, and it looks like this. Armadillomon, is it on a? Reverse sphere earth. I don't know, but it's armadillo mon hearts attack dark tyrannomon We got metal gray mon. We got another agumon expert over here thinks he knows what's up, but he doesn't know what the fuck is up Thinking he's he, thinking he's the shit Nuclear laser look at this again. They just took a Gundam kit and they put some Godzilla parts on it <laughs> It's gross too. like look at how gross this is why what? <laughs> Why? Like, I can see, like, the cartoon shit right here. It's, like, very cartoon. And then there's this stuff, and it's, like, it's gross. I don't want to... <sighs> Yuck, dude. What the fuck? What the fuck? Metal Edamon! Nobody told me Digimon was like this. This is worse than Yu-Gi-Oh! At least Yu-Gi-Oh is a little bit more consistent. Digimon is like... What is this? <laughs> Alright. Megadramon. It's scary. It's... I don't... I don't want it. It's scary. Infermon. This looks like a fucking Mega Man Battle Network boss. Like, it's just, it's just all over the place, man. And then another Cerberus Mon. This is, that, that was a dud. That was a dud pack. I don't even know what a dud pack looks like in this card game. I've never played it before. Seems fun, though. Seems fun. I'd love to play it. God damn. End, end of Mon. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Oh, God! Look at all these, man. I'm gonna be rich. Can you believe how many of these I got? Index cards? God damn. I'm gonna be rich as hell, man. Look at a whole stack of them. Gotta put these in hard cases. Alright. Snip. Snippity, snippity. Open. Open. There you go. Into the, bu into the box. Oblivion Bird! Goblimon! I wonder what it's supposed to be. It's got uh, Diddy Kong eyes. Sonic the Hedgehog eyes, you know, where it's like connected? It's a very Japanese thing. If you ever notice, um, Donkey Kong, like modern Donkey Kong, like rare Donkey Kong, the, that Donkey Kong was designed by a Western artist. I think they were European whoever designed Donkey Kong, but Diddy Kong was designed by a Japanese guy. So if you look at their eyes, it's a, cl it's a clear giveaway that Diddy, because Diddy Kong has Sonic the Hedgehog eyes, but Donkey Kong has these fucking weird-ass beady circle eyes. It's fucking weird. Look it up. Caesarmon. I bet you never noticed, but now you do. 
You're going to notice all the time. Empmon. I pulled another Chumon. So if you guys want to take a minute, um, you know, take a little breather, maybe uh, grab yourself some food, uh, you know, just as a little celebration to yourself, a little gift to yourself. Um, you know, maybe catch up with an old friend. Uh, now would be the great time because I just pulled a Chumon. So uh, just to let everybody know, if, if I had Digimon, if I had a Digimon and I was like really trying to get my shit together and like take, take care of my Digimon, it was a cute little blob or whatever and he was like, meh, 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 you know, and then I woke up the next morning and this was on my screen, I would throw it out the window. V Nova Blast. Got Gardromon, Demidramon, we got Slash Anjimon. Pretty cool. I uh, feel like they were just like, just have fun. <laughs> Mr. Anime, just have fun. We got Wanyamon. Wanya have some kind of, <sighs> whatever. They're all cats. Lilymon, there we go, cutie. Cute little plant. It's adorable. Really pronounced titties. I don't know why they really put a huge emphasis on those titties, but they really, uh, they really made it a thing. So there you go. And then we got Metal Seedramon. He's got a he's got a blaster for a nose. It's kind of silly. I'm gonna be honest. This looks really silly. Silly. All right, but it's cool. You know, we got it. It's rare, et cetera, et cetera. I like how all the rares have the gilded foiling. I think that's cool. You know, you always know it's a rare, not just by the fact that it says R right here, but the fact it's got like the gilded, gilded things. I mean, who doesn't like titties? Oh, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I just thought it was, you know, I watched Digimon when I was like, I don't know, 10, 9, 10, I don't remember. Really pronounced titties. It seems like that's like the focal point. <laughs> seems a little, a little off base, you know what I mean? There we go. All right, missed. Then we got Digitamon, Kokotorimon, Blastfire. We got Gabumon, Goblimon. Whoop! Right. Blade of the False, Slash Angimon. We're getting a lot of doubles now. Back to Revenge, uh, Magnadramon. Another tie with his dumbass hair. I think this is a different tie, actually. Um, I, I seem to remember he was pointing the other way. And then we got a Magna Anjimon for a super rare. Not a secret rare, but a super rare. Magna Anjimon. Got a fucking sword. A pink ass sword. Cool ass pose. And it's got, and you know it's cool because it's got that anime little swing, wing, 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 wing. You know what I'm saying? I'll sleeve this, uh, Goku ass, hair ass, fucking goggle ass. Does he ever use the goggles? It's just for show, right? Like, he never puts the goggles down and is like, all right, let's go. Like, he's not like a biker. Like, he, that's the, that's the implication, right? Like, he's like a motorcyclist or something. And he's like, puts the goggles down and has the gloves on to go fast. But, no, oh, he does? Okay. He's a soccer player. Oh, okay, because that's... Playing soccer, you need your soccer goggles on. Football, for those of you who are not dumb Americans. Stupid, silly Americans with their soccer. All right. Frigimon. Frigimon. <laughs> it's just funny. It comes up in my head, right? Sukaimon, Pagumon, Muchomon. Atomic Ray, Cheerinmon. Cheermon, dude! He's a Cheerinmon. Uh, Leomon, that's new. Oh, okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Alright. Get your fucking get your get your pictures in now, folks. Leomon. Like you, you, oh, was it a coincidence? Yeah, was it a coincidence? I'm just gonna make a ripped ass anthropomorphic lion with leather 
skin tight pants. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that. I don't know who 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 would like that. I, I just, it's just something I came up with. I, we don't have to have them. I, I don't know. <laughs> Loader Leomon. So he's like a he's like a uh whatever. I uh, I'm done. Who's Tyga? I'm sorry. Who's Tyga? This looks like a drawing I would make, like an OC I would make when I was 12. It's like, oh, it's a cute, she's a cute girl with short hair. She, I don't know, she's a mechanic or something. Like, it's just, all right. And then we got Giga Blaster. It's everyone's favorite card. Love it. God, I get so excited when I pull Giga Blaster. Fucking stoked as hell. Tiger. Oh, and she's, she's kind of like a tomboy, but like, you know, but she's really, but she's soft on the inside, and she's kind of like motherly, and like, it's like fucking every 12 year old's like dream girlfriend OC. So that's what it looks like. You know, but she like, she can like hang out with the guys too, you know, she plays video games, and like, you know, but she's like really supportive of like my emotional needs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Tyga, boy. <laughs> oh God. Well, you know, just, just, just everything I said, but boy, it's the same thing. Whatever, man. I just don't. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming Digimon. They're all so whatever. I don't want. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I fucking hate that shit. When it's like, oh, who is she? And then it's like, oh, she's 12. And it's like, god damn it. Fucking, all right. Well, then I take it back. Jesus. Fucking anime. Stop, stop making characters. Fucking what? Is Lilymon like five? I don't know. I mean, it's a Digimon. Like, it, it was born yesterday. It's fucked up. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> all right. All right. Okuamon. Gravity Crush. Volcanic Dramon couldn't even fit on the fucking card. Gilmon, Greymon. Is there like different art for these? Or is this just like a different Greymon? Like they kind of have like different basic Pokemon in the card game. I guess they just have like different ones. Uh, Sirenmon. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a little girl. But it's kind of got like a fat little bird body. What the fuck? All right. <laughs> My Otis Mon! Ha <laughs> It's just the evil. Wow! Oh, God! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> hey! Could you spare a quarter? <laughs> like, what the fuck, this guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we got symphony number whatever. I don't give a shit. Fucking rare mon, dude. Isn't it hilarious that rare mon is a rare? It's, it's hilarious. It does look like Ultros, actually. You know, what I think about it. Guapu fa fa fa. There you go. All right, here we go. <laughs> Boom. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Who is he? <laughs> Greymon, Dolphmon, Monzemon, Blade of the True, Gobumon, Gravity Crush, Volcanic River of Power, Boltmon! <sighs> he's hot. I, like I don't I don't know what to tell you, man. He's hot. Look at our, look at his fucking ripped ass body and his his fucking skin tight pants. He's hot. <laughs> Tapermon! <laughs> when I was a kid, I I always wished I could have a Tapermon. So when I was bullied in school, somebody would protect me. Tapermon, if you're out there, I love you. Agumon. Oh, it's a rare Agumon. That's cool. And then we got a uh, Oop Oopamon. <laughs> Oopamon! 
<laughs> Fucking Oopamon, dude. Do you think, like, when this thing evolves into Oopamon, somebody's like, oh. <laughs> like, there really isn't that much of a difference going on. Oopamon, dude. It takes two to make a Oopamon rare. Yeah. It takes two to make a Oopamon. Open it up. Take out the cards. Heat Viper. Ogremon. Monodramon. Phrygimon. Spiral Sword. Greymon. Vilemon. Metal Greymon. Cherrymon. Gatsumon. Puppetmon! What is this? Just Gino from Mario, whatever? And then we got Zudomon. Zudomon! Oh, yeah! Throw back a bottle of turtle! There's a lot going on here. Can I just say there's a lot going on here? It's like a ripped dude, but he's got bear claws, bare feet, I guess? He's like a, a unicorn, but he's like a saber toothed tiger but he also has a turtle shell. But the turtle shell, I guess, isn't real because it's strapped on with a belt. There's a lot going on here, man. I don't want to talk about it. I don't care who you are. That's hot. <laughs> All right. Uh, he equips parts of the enemies he's defeated. So how does he maintain a consistent design throughout the series? Kabuterimon. It's not Mega Kabuterimon, it's just Kabuterimon. Kabuterimon! To evolve to Mega Kabuterimon! Kabuterimon. Forbidden Temptation. I yeah, I didn't even notice that this card was called Forbidden Temptation, and it's got a big ass on it. Metal Tyrannomon, who just got his girlfriend broke up with him. <laughs> Shut up, I don't want to talk about it. Great Tornado. Here, Garumon. Ama the Manjurmon. Fucking stop. Just stop. Just stop. It's upsetting. Greymon. Metal Tyrannomon. We got a rare right here. Just shooting other Digimon out of its arm. And then Izzy! Izzy, though? He Izzy. Uh, okay, so... <laughs> He's the computer boy. Izzy Izumi. That's a fucking cruel thing to call your kid. If your last name's Izumi, say, oh, Izzy. Izzy Izumi. He's the one who computes. I gotta take a drink. <laughs> Fuck! Ah! Fuck! His name is actually Koshiro. All right. You got two more packs left, and then I'll do some super chats. And we'll, like, open up another box and have a good time. I'm trying to be chill, but Digimon's fucking blasting my head off, dude. Digimon's wrecking my shit right now. Okuamon. I think I've pulled every common and every uncommon because I'm not seeing any new ones. Smash Potatoes. Break Dramon, Siren Mon, Matty Sheeta once again. And then we got a Ser Seraphimon. Seraphimon. Love Raffi. Love his music. Can't get enough of that sweet, sweet music. I think I think that's the thing that bothers me about Digimon, is it's it's just it's so inconsistent. Like, Seraphimon is just a fucking guy in armor. Like, at least with Pokemon, it's like, they're all creatures, and it's a bear, you know? Ooh, oh, look, it's a bear. And when he evolves, it's a big bear. You know, like, it's... <laughs> there's something very, very, uh... There's something very logical about Pokemon. Digimon's just like, that's a guy in a suit of armor. And then, and then Petermon. So Petermon. Ooh, I just, I just sucked all the air out of this, this uh, special box pack. That means it's not perfectly sealed. Very upsetting. All right, one more pack. Uh, 
Oh, man. Ah, here we go. Mushroom on. <laughs> and then it's shit like this where it's like, it's a mushroom creature, a mushroom cartoon creature. Fine. And then it has like really human arms and legs. Like really upsettingly human hands. Like at least give him three fingers, you know? Like at least give him Mickey Mouse hands or something. Why is he gotta have like super manly fucking hands? Where Gururu, Seesaw, V Nova Blast, and Cuckoo Cuckoo. We got my cat Otto, he's got an M on his head. Hi, Andromon. Okay. <laughs> Groundramon, Terrors Cluster. We got Andromon. Oh, those are the two rares. Okay, great. Well, that was a fucking lame ass last pack. What the fuck? Pulled both of those cards before. This is great. I'm loving this. <laughs> I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Fucking Digimon, man. Come on. You got a big stack of Digimon cards. They feel good, too, to hold in your hand. They got, like, that good, nice feel. Nice little feel, you know what I'm saying? Um, all right. Whoa. Wait, hold on. How weird is that? So this pack... Uh, this little special box promotion pack. Oh, I have to open this. Um, forgot to do that. So this this pack, it like it was like puffing up with air. So I like pressed it down to like suck the air out of it, right? So it works. Obviously, there's a little hole in it or something. So I. But then it still it like puffs up again. <laughs> it's really upsetting. I'm assuming because there's like a slight curl to it and like the curl is like create it's like it's like pushing against the bag and so it's like sucking air back in. But it's it's really upsetting. All right. Let's open this promo pack. I know there's a rip tab here, but there's only two cards in here. It feels like a bad idea to do that. So there's six types in total that I could pull from here. Uh this one's black and white. We got Garurumon, Were Garurumon, Agumon, Greymon, Vidramon Zero, and Tai Kamiya V Tamer. Oh. We got V Tubers and V Tamers now. So what do we got here? Boom! We got Oil Spill Agumon and Oil Spill Greymon. That's cool. They go together like oil and water. You know? <laughs> Alright. It's a promo. I'm just, I'm just chilling, man. I'm just chilling. Uh, fuck it. I'm not taking Digimon seriously. Hmm. Let's throw these fuckers away. Hey, who wants an index card? Who wants a index card? It's a list of all the cards or whatever, I guess. Index cards. 187 cards in all. Index cards. Is it front and back? No. Oh, it's like... A game piece on the back. I guess. Why is it always the same? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, they don't like go together or anything like that. Oh, okay. I get it. All right, great. Well, anyway, it's the Digi uh, Digi Counter, Digimon Pokemon Memory Counters is what it is. And when you play the game, you put a, a nickel on it. And by the end of the game, if you haven't doubled your money into a dime, then you lose the game. All right, let's uh, see a chat, see a chat, see a chat. Let's see what everyone's saying, baby. Let's see what everyone's saying, baby. I didn't pay attention to what the last one was that I looked at, so I feel a little bad. Whoa, there's so many. Uh... Where the fuck was I? All right, here we go. John Wayne Creech. Oh, Tim Gieselar said, open a Pokemon pack in my name. Yeah, you got it, man. Let's. Uh, I'll just crack a Sword and Shield pack. How about that, huh? Let's just do that, all right? Let's just crack a Sword and Shield pack in your name, huh? How about that? Open it up! Open the fucking pack! I need a Zamazenta, so if we pull that, it was because of you, all right? Here, here, here you go. I know none of you are prepared, but there you go. Boom. Take it. It's yours. 
Crack it. Uh, oh, right. One, two, three. Blue. Nope. All right. Double, Doug Trio, Switch, Sobble, Blitbug, Ball Toy, Wooloo, Joltik, Silly Cobra. Silly Cobra! God, look how silly he is! And Corvy Knight. Shitty. Shitty fucking terrible shit. Terrible. Absolutely awful. Uh, there you go, Tim. That was for you. Crack that pack. Just for you, baby. Taking it home. All right. John Wayne Creech. Love that name. Hi, Aaron. Yesterday was my birthday, and I got some Digimon carbs to open with you tonight. I hope you got Beeblezamon. Beezelmon. 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 A single pedal. Welcome back. Hey, Aaron. I hope you're having good vibes and that your plushies Lemon and Bill arrived. <gasps> uh, I got to check them out, man. We haven't checked the mail in a while. Uh, Denovan. Thank you for that. Denovan Zen. Zen Zuniga. Hey, Di big Digimon fan. Thank you, Aaron, for inventing Digimon by being the biggest nerd in the world. Yeah, no problem, man. I will... Uh, they haven't sent... Bandai hasn't sent me royalties yet, so... Uh, maybe sometime. Maybe sometime soon. I imagine they've made a lot of money off of Digimon since I came up with it, so... Um, it was funny, too. The original ad on the website... Focus on my face, you dang fool. Maybe it isn't the... Maybe I should put the bodyguard back. Maybe it isn't the bodyguard. Um, the original ad for it was like this funny... It was like New York, and it was like, They're here! Digimon are here! And it was like a news report, and he's like, they're, they, They've grown into giant monsters, and they're taking over the city! Like, that's what the Digimon commercial was that was on the website. I remember it. I was so stoked. All right. Curtis B. Hey, Aaron, did you hear about Flesh and Blood TCG? I have. Some of the cards have crazy value, but I'm not sure about buying a TCG that is so new. Uh, yeah, I've heard about Flesh and Blood. I haven't played it or anything, but I've heard about it. Everyone's going nuts for it because I guess first edition base set is now like a thousand bucks a box or something. Proto Wave. Shuffle Master. My package was sent to your P.O. box at the end of last week. Wrapped in blue and covered in fragile stickers. New inbox Sonic X and Sonic 2 cards inside. <gasps> That's very exciting. I'm very excited for that. Thank you, Protowave. Hell yeah. Space Dandy 2299. You ever consider creating a channel where you play rhythm games? Would anybody watch me play rhythm games? I, f I don't know. That seems a little... I don't know. No, I've never thought of that, and I don't think that's ever going to happen. Dark Fool Dave. Hey, yo, missed you, man. Got my mom a gift. Tomorrow's B-Day. Editing hell of a boss reaction right now. So many good things today. Oh, shit, just saw the Dunsparce. Yeah, baby! There it is. There's your work. Um, it's a it's a trash cam spectacular over there. I, I figured that was the perfect spot, because I already have stuff planned to put up here, so I figured putting it by trash cam would be... It's great. I love it. Look at him. You see him every time. You get reminded how happy, wonderful Dunsparce is. Thanks for sending it. Uh, Charlie, sup, Aaron? Question. Have you ever thought about getting some form of piercing? You would look so dope. Um, when I was younger, I thought about piercing my ear. I don't have any interest. Uh, Malfazar. Okay, fine, but open it. When I'm on, it's stream safe. <laughs> I mean... I usually, I pre-check the mail before I put it on, before I open it on. I'm not going to open fucking random packs that people send me live on a stream. Like, that's that's a recipe for disaster. No, we check everything before we, we open it on stream, so don't worry about that. Uh, Goober, I'm so psyched about this new Digimon game. Shufflets, hit me up for tabletop simulator games. We got to get that Discord to coordinate this stuff. I know, man, I know. King Shedinja. Aaron, I'm so proud of you, and I love you so goddamn much. Gosh, King Shedinja. Thank you. You beautiful wall. Janet LaCava. Hey, Aaron, so glad to see you today. I missed you yesterday. I know you're open Digimon cards today, but can we check in with Ash and Pikachu? Thanks. Um, hey, Pikachu! How you doing, buddy? Seeing better days. Well, you know... Oh, oh wow, my mouth is all fucked up. Uh, well... Uh, where am I? Okay. Well, you know, Pikachu. Oh, uh, we're 
We're hanging out, opening Digimon cards. That's cool, right? Oh, shit. I always thought Digimon was kind of uh, plebeian. Plebeian? The hell does that mean? It's like uh, for plebes. Okay, well, I don't know what that means, obviously. Yeah, you wouldn't. All right, Pikachu. The point is, we're opening Digimon cards. It's fun. I pulled an Agumon. I pulled a Metal Greymon. That's cool, man. Uh, you ever think about um, feeding me someday? Yeah, I, I feed you puffins all the time. Maybe something else? Like what? I don't know, man. You're always over there getting burritos and shit, and it's like, why don't you just give me a bite? Well, I didn't know Pokemon could eat human food. Why wouldn't we be able to? I, I guess I never really thought about it. Yeah, you never ask. You never ask. Why are you always doing this to me, Pikachu? Every time I bring up something, I try to be excited about something, you always shit all over it. First of all, language. Second of all, Maybe if you treat me a little better. I treat you really well, okay? I made my mom bake you a pie. Puffin pie. I, well, I don't know, it's, you like puffins. Yeah, I do, okay? Maybe I'll like a burrito though. Well then I'll get you a freaking burrito, Jesus. Is that, was that so hard? You're an asshole. <laughs> okay. Volpe 5 on Hey Aaron, here's some money, and have you seen the new Pokemon set coming out in February? Shining Fates. Good luck on the polls. Love Digimon. Yes, I have seen Shining Fates. It's great. Uh, can't wait for it. It's gonna have Shiny Star V cards in it, I think, probably. Ricky Raya. Raya. I made it to Platinum with Demir Rogues. I feel dirty, Aaron. Do you forgive me? Please forgive me. Oh yeah. Oh, it's totally fine. When I, if I, if I want to level up in arena, I just do mono red. Like, I just fucking, because it's just, it's a war of attrition. You know, if you do, if you play a tempo deck on arena to rank up, it's like your rounds last like 10 minutes. But you play mono red, it's just like, boom, oh, I lost, okay, boom, oh, I won, okay, great, boom, oh, I won, okay, great. Like, it's like, you get more games in. Uh, so, I, I it's Okay. It's fine. Papa Spurka. Hey, Aaron, good luck pulling. FYI, the Digimon packs are already in rarity order. Seven commons, three uncommons, and two rares, one of which may be super or secret. Uh, yeah, it's great. Super great for me. It's a great idea. I don't know why nobody else does that. So, what, like, who the fuck invented commons, rare, Commons, foil, rare, and then three uncommons. Like, that's the stupidest... Or it doesn't make any sense. Like, I get it for magic when you draft packs and the rare is first. Like, I get that, because it's like you open it up and you're like, what's the rare? Okay, am I going to keep this or not when you draft? But, like, Pokemon has the weirdest fucking layout, and I don't understand it. All right. Pseudo Rider, 050. Why did Hans... <laughs> I've got a funny joke for you. This one comes all the way from the Millennium Falcon. Oh, wait, where is it? <laughs> oh, wait, where is Han Solo from? Um, the... Uh, this It's like a system. It's like some kind of system. The, the Corellian system. Ha, this one comes all the way from the Corellian system. Mm -hmm. oh, why did Han Solo... Take, send his steak back to the kitchen. Hmm? It was a little chewy. Hmm? Funny joke! Radclaw1. Hey, Aaron, longtime Grump fan. Do you have a favorite Japanese artist? I'm looking for some prints or art books as a gift. Uh, Toriyama, always been a favorite. Um... I pressed the DPI button on my mouse. What does that do? I pressed it again. Oops, what does that do? Uh, it's a DPI button on my mouse. I don't know what the fuck it does. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> it gets pee in your eye. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, favorite Japanese artist. Um, 
it's so hard to when you're on the spot. I'm trying to think of all my art books that I have at home. Uh, oh. God damn it. The person that does the art for Ah oh My Goddess. I love the um I love the art where it's like the the girls with like the motorcycles and like the cars and stuff. Those that I love that shit. That's just so much fun. Um Yeah. Yeah, Yoji Shinkawa is great. I, I, it's like if I was at home, I would just go and grab art books off the shelf and just be like, oh, check it, this one's awesome. But, like, I don't – I just look at them and I'm like, that's neat. <laughs> I literally go – in Little Tokyo, we have a store that's a Japanese bookstore. Um, it's called uh, – fuck, what the fuck is it called? It's been so long since I've been there. It's not Kotobukiya. It's – Something else, Ko. Kino Kunia. There you go. They have a bunch of art books there. And I just, like, I don't know what any of this... Because I don't watch anime or play any modern anime games ever anymore. So I just, like, pick up a book that has, like, a cool cover. And I'm like, oh, neat. And I'll flip through it. And I'll be like, this is fucking sick. And then I'll buy it. Um, like, Puzzles and Dragons. I, I have a couple art books from Puzzles and Dragons. Because all the art... When I was younger, I would do a thing where I'd like limit the canvas, so I'd I'd make like a like a square canvas. I was really obsessed with like making like a square canvas and then like filling the whole thing. Um, and Puzzles and Dragons is like each graphic from that game is like it fits in a square. So like that was really appealing to me to to see that art and it's all like it's like really complex like cartoon dragons and and like cool anime soldiers and shit. But they're they're all like square shaped and I I love that. Anyway. American Choir Boy. <laughs> Why do you look sad or upset? Because it's 2020 and we're almost at the end. Almost at the end. And I'm tired. I'm fucking tired, man. I've been working my ass off these last three months. I mean really this fucking last eight months. Um but, like, this is my opportunity to chill, you know? Uh, so that's why I look so tired. Because I'm fucking tired. <laughs> that's why. Uh, American Choir Board. Yes, please play Link's Awakening. It is the first game I ever played. Would you play the DX version? Uh, no, we're going to play the Switch version because it looks a thousand times better. I know there's probably some purists. Stop pulling focus on the goddamn bodyguard! Thank you! I just scream at it and it's- No! It did it again! My face! Face. <laughs> no, the Switch version's better! I mean, I don't care- I know there's purists, it's- Oh, the DX version or whatever, but it's like, it's fucking gorgeous. Like, why wouldn't we play that for a show where we're entertaining people? Play the Switch version. Mmm. Alright. Shiny Bubasaur. Love that name. Opened my box just the other day. Got that Omnimon, but no alt art metal Greymon I wanted so badly. Maybe the Digi Gods bless your pulls. I hope so. Is there hair in my mouth? The fuck? Stinky Man! Demon Souls playthrough would be a god tier. I know, man. I can't wait. This is be in the same room, though. I I'm still chugging through it, man. Demon Souls fucking hard. The fact that, you know, Bloodborne has. Um, you know, the Estus Flask, right? In Dark Souls, it's like, oh, you can refill it. It's like, great. Um, Demon Souls has... The healing item is like an item that you have to, like, get off of enemies. And it, like, goes away. The... I, I still... Uh, I gotta look up, like, where to get it. Because Bloodborne, I, like, knew where to farm blood vials. So if I ran out of blood vials, I would just go and those two ogres, like, right by that one spawn near the beginning of the game. They give you, like, two each. I would just do that over and over again. But I don't know where to get, where to farm uh, the the moon grass in Demon Souls. There's some good farm spots. Okay, <laughs> Stinky Man. Oh, oh, got it. Uh, your Bloodborne playthrough is what really got me into GG and got me through some tough times. Thank you, man. That's great. I'm I'm happy to hear that. Adam Cartes. I have four packs of RPGs on my vest for work. Damn. I've gotten a few comments that they look cool. Love them. Oh, that's great, man. Thanks for letting me know. And thanks for getting those. Barbarian Romance. You're awesome. Thanks for the content. You're awesome. Stay romantic. 
Pim Lundquist. Pim Lundquist. Quist. Quist. Hey, Aaron, why are you so cool? I don't know. Air conditioning. Mr. Love Dinosaur. Aaron, thank you for being such a beautiful inspiration for so many people. I got my first RPGs pack and pulled the ultra rare Frog King. Hell yeah, King Froggins, baby. Turn up. Moustache. Do you think you and Dan might ever play Battle Block Theater? I don't, I don't know. Maybe. I never really played it a whole lot. I played it while it was in development, um, but when it came out, I didn't really play it at all. It was pretty fun. It was in development for like three years or something. Tastefully Nerd. Won't be able to watch the show in real time for a while, but know your sweet tones will be my work out companion this winter. <sighs> Beautiful. Something smells. Fuck smells. <laughs> Weird. Emily C. Aaron, my friend, this is Hanako, designed the Among Us blanket Ross wore recently. Oh, that's sweet. It warms my heart to see my friend's art. It warms my heart to see my friend's art. It warms my heart to see my friend's art. And your fave gamers love y'all. Thanks, Emily C. I'm a professional rapper. Beardy W, do you guys know, uh, did you guys know Octoling Hacker before Among Us? I did not. Um, I, she is, she is wonderful. I, I enjoy her company greatly. Uh, Loki King 3. Well, I, I played, if you mean Among Us on Game Grumps, then yes. I played Among Us with her on Ross's streams. Um, but, but, but if you're talking about did I know her before we played Among Us together in general, then no. Loki King 3, Aaron, I hope you read this. There is a community for the game at digimoncard.dev along with a Discord if you ever need info or looking for a community. That's cool. I really want to play um, Octopimp. Um, he's, he really wants to play the Digimon card game with him, so I really want to play with him. Um, and we got to do like thing where we get tested and all that stuff. Hey, how's my little uh, how's my little cu cunning geyser mage getting bent over here? Pretty pretty curled, pretty nice curl going there. A little cunning geyser mage, I'm trying to curl it as much as I can by putting it in a very curly spot. Lunar C says, "Hey, Aaron. Hey, Lunar C. Trying to be like Talahav nine nine nine. Spooky llama. I'm going to a funeral. I'm going on a funeral tomorrow, sadly. But getting joy from Aaron while he opens cards packs helps a little bit. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, man. But I'm glad that bringing you some joy. Joseph English. Hey, Aaron. I made a game called Galaxy Cat on Steam that I think you would enjoy and that Dan would find cute. I'd love to send you a code, even if you don't play it on GG. Love you guys. Yeah, send over a code. Um, Galaxy Cat sounds adorable. And good job making a game, man. Jesus, that's a that's an ordeal. Mario Leal, glad I caught the stream. Sending good pull vibes your way. Is there anything from Digimon you like versus Pokemon? Uh, oh, I don't know anything about Digimon, so it's hard to say. There are some designs in Digimon that I just think are dope. Um, I kind of like how they, how they like de evolve, so you can have the cute creatures. I always thought it was kind of a rip off that. Um, you know, Digimon had all these cute creatures, but they would evolve into, like, scary creatures. And then and it's like, yeah, but I kind of want to use the cute creature. Uh, so I think that's neat. Pumpkin Swift. Hi, Aaron. Apparently I'm the reason you went on EDH and chill. Good to see you. Oh, sick. <laughs> Thanks, man. That was fun. Roboto Boy. I love this game so much. Owning a TCG shop, despite not liking TCGs usually, has finally paid off. <laughs> really? You own a TCG shop, but don't like TCGs. Well, if you would like to sponsor my stream and send me product, let's talk. Michael Tilka. Aaron, thank you for everything. This spring, I began a job as a TV news reporter. Days can be tough, but you always put a smile on my face. Uh, Michael. Hey, that's awesome. That's a TV news reporter. That's a fucking, that's a, that's a new one. That's awesome, man. If we were ever like in a bar together, I would really love to hear stories about your job because that's fucking wild. Amanda BV, I've had the worst couple of days lately and this is exactly what I needed. Thank you for streaming during these busy times. Uh, thanks for being here, man. This is, this is real fun. I love doing this. Talahav999, there he is. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Talahav. Thanks for always showing up and saying hey. Madara Wolf. Hey, Aaron, loving the Dongan Ronpo playthrough. I know it's a big commitment, but do you think you'll eventually play the other two? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. Um, I don't know. 
Roboto toy. They only digivolve if they're a digi-destined Digimon. Regular Digimon grow and permanently digivolve. Digimon can evolve into a bunch of stuff, though. Okay. Digi-destined. <laughs> it's, you know... There is something inherently hilarious about stuff like Digi-destined, where it's like a prophecy is cool in like an old story, you know, it's like, oh, the prophecy says years ago, like gods and warriors, and it's like, okay, neat. What, digi Destined, it's a computer. People made it. They just made a computer thing. And, but it's like, oh, it's the Digi Destined. And it's like, what do you mean? It's a computer, just go in and hack it. I don't know, like it's, <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is a matrix is funny. You know, like once it got really like religious, it was like, this is ridiculous. Like what the, it's just a fucking computer. <laughs> anyway. Baffled bits. I'm helping my mom decorate today, so I can't stay, but I hope you have a good time. Well, I hope you have a good time decorating. It's it's the now's the time, man. Fat oh, that's fucking smell is killing me. I think it's a we have a there's a shower in our office. I specifically wanted a shower in the office. And uh, the pea trap gets, it it stinks. If you don't use it enough, it dries out and it stinks. And apparently it hasn't been washed out in a while. <laughs> so I think the air conditioner is like sucking it in and bringing it in here. And I think that's why it stinks. It's really, really pissing me off right now. Smell, bad smells are really, ugh. Facial loves Kakashi. All of these Digimon seem to also be in Digimon Cyber Sleuth, the video game. Perhaps you guys can play it sometime. I don't know. I don't know anything about Digimon. So, maybe. Shadowwood Slasher. Would you trade or sell any of your poles? By the way, do you know about Digimon Fusions? They blew my mind. I don't know about Digimon Fusions. I'm assuming there are a couple in here because it seems like logically... There's like a couple Digimon that are like, oh, it's Devimon, and this is Devi Dramon, and this is Devi Greymon. Like, I, I assume that's what that is. Um, I would not sell or trade any of my poles right now. I don't know if that's going to be a thing. I have a lot of cards. Um, I have a lot of cards. Uh, I have a feeling that there's going to be a point where I have too many cards and you know obviously fucking 80 to 90 percent of them are commons uh so i was i've i've been hearing things about how you can bring cards to children's hospitals or whatever and stuff so i've been thinking about doing that i just haven't really looked into it yet because it's easier to just throw them in a fucking closet and not worry about it because i don't have a whole lot of free time to do shit like that um but I think that's probably ultimately what I'm going to end up doing if I get too many cards. Because um, I would rather they get played with than sit in a closet. Uh, Macho King Matt. Change Leopardmon is from the Japanese tokus, tokusatsu Spider-Man show. It's what he says to change his Sphinx spaceship into his giant robot. I see. Okay. Chris V. Hey, Lemon and Bill. My girlfriend asked, will there be any Lemon and Bill merch? Uh, would love one. Oh. Hey, Lemon, what's going on? Uh, nothing. Just think about Lemon and Bill merch. How come? Because that person said so in the chat. Oh, right. So, anyway, um, what do you think about that? Well, I think it'd be pretty cool, you know? I mean, who doesn't want Lemon on their, on their, their boobles? You could put, yeah, I mean, Lemon and Bill could be somewhere else. It'd be fun to have like a design, like a minimalist design. What do you mean? Well, you know, like it would be um, like kind of on the bottom corner of a shirt. Oh, that's pretty cool. Like we're down, like standing on the bottom of the shirt. Yeah, you know, it's like the bottom of the shirt where it ends is like a ground. And we're like standing on top and we're kind of off center. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, that'd be kind of fun, right? Yeah, that'd be really fun. Actually, maybe we should do that. I think we should. Okay. Well, all right then. I guess that's the end of that. 
Yeah. So, have you heard the news? What news? I don't, I don't know. That's why I was asking you. Oh, no. God damn it. <laughs> All right. uh. Andrew Rosenberg. Hey, Aaron, I got a Yoda joke for you. Okay. <laughs> You've got a funny joke for me. Which program do Jedi use to open PDF files? Hmm? Adobe One Kenobi! Mmm! Funny joke! <laughs> That's a good one. Adobe One Kenobi. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Much love from Connecticut, says Andrew. Thanks, man. Scarlet Demon, to be fair, none of us understand Digimon Aaron. Really, instead of asking, like, why Digimon is a series, it's like, why not? Just have fun. I mean, fair enough. I'm having fun. I'm having fun being cynical about Digimon. It's fun. It's the same thing about Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, I don't know shit about Yu-Gi-Oh. I just see fucking weird shit, and I'm like, this is ridiculous. Uh, Joseph Santi, love your positivity and comedy. Oh, shit, I just realized I don't have any more shoeboxes to bring stuff home in. Uh-uh. Uh, Joseph Santi, love your positivity and comedy. Thanks for sharing the love of cards. Please let Nikki know that she is a dildus. Uh, Nikki's a dildus, FYI. Kel H, Digimon are so varied because the digital world is a standalone world. Humans don't naturally exist there, so they can be anything at all. Just FYI. Uh, Kel H also says, quick FYI too. Billiam has an off awesome Digimon retrospective to get some background. My brother and I love Shuffle Master. Thanks for the solid content. Thanks, man. You know, I'm not interested enough in Digimon to do a deep dive on the lore of Digimon. I much more enjoy it at arm's length. I think it is much more fun and hilarious to me when I enjoy it at arm's length. When I can look at fucking Petermon and be like, this is so stupid. So, I don't want to be like, yeah, but Petermon, you don't understand. Because Petermon is, in, 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 the, in the fifth season, Petermon comes out. Like, I don't want, I don't want that. <laughs> I, I don't want that. It's fine if, you're, if you are that. It's fine if you enjoy it in that way. I'm not criticizing that. I just don't want that. KP. Aaron, have you ever heard of the Digi Rap? It's from the Digimon movie. It's something. If you can't listen on stream, at least look up the lyrics. Oh, man. Is it like the poker rap? It's exciting. <laughs> I love Billiam, by the way. I think he's great. His videos are very... He's, he's got a great voice. Voice as in, like... I mean, he's got a great voice, too, but... Voice as in, like, the way that he speaks and communicates. His videos are funny. I I I I like his videos about toys. Um, they're my favorite. When it when it's about like shows and stuff, I, I usually don't really care about that, that much. Um, Kyle Bolivar, eighteen. Hey Aaron, can you start numbering the GG episodes, please? Ha 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 ha! I knew this would come up. Uh, we are trying to not number them right now. I am sorry if that is upsetting. I know it is upsetting to a lot of people, um, but we are not numbering them right now. And that is how it is. And I apologize again if it is upsetting. But that's just the way it is right now. We're, we're, we're trying to come up with uh, a compromise. I think we're probably going to put the numbers in the hashtags. I think, no, that, I mean, probably. That's what we're doing. Um, so that is the compromise for now. We'll see how it goes. Again, I apologize if it is upsetting to you. But that is just the way it is right now. Um, yes, it is YouTube algorithm stuff. <laughs> so, if it were up to me, we'd still be doing Game Grumps exactly how we started doing Game Grumps. Uh, but yes. The, the, my, my mantra is, I will change whatever needs to be changed to be better for the algorithm, except for the show itself. I won't let anybody touch the show. The show is what it is. When you click on that episode and you watch the show it is the same game grumps that you have always liked we will never change the show that is what i will never compromise on but thumbnails and titles and stuff that's it's open for experimentation in my opinion so 
I understand the frustration. I'm frustrated too. But we're trying to do what we can. Uh, Lunacy. Yeah, well, I guess the length, it's the, it's just a longer show. Like, it's still the same show, I guess. This is, uh, Lunar C. Aaron, I'm feeling down. Can you tell me a joke to cheer me up? Uh, a joke. Uh, <laughs> fuck. I'm so, like, not in, like, a, like, a quick-witted headspace right now. Uh, d <laughs> I can't think of a joke! Uh, a duck walks into a bar and says, got any bread or whatever, and then the bartender says no, and I don't remember. I'm sorry. Funny! Ha ha! There's your joke. I don't fucking know. I'm so terrible. Uh, what's a joke? <laughs> I can't think of one. I'm fucking blanking out. I'm sorry, Lunar C. Post your best joke in the chat, everybody. Alex Landry, thank you. Imposter Channel, the little cat got to him and becomes a sexy lady. That's weird, man. It's so weird. Alex Landry, look up Nanimon, Kirby Proportions plus Wrestler. I'm not going to do it. It's upsetting. The description already is upsetting. Kyle Bolivar, he's poop. He is poop. That's Numamon, baby. Michael Pfeffer. Hey, Aaron Mon Monsoon. You're looking so good today. If you were a Digimon, I'd totally download you. Is that how Digimon works? That's not how Digimon works. I'm sorry. Kalasorion. Dude, look up Sistermon. What the fuck is Sistermon? No. I'm not going to look that up. It's upsetting. Facia loves Kakashi. Could I have the Wanyamon? He's my favorite in Cyber Sooth game. Uh, yeah, just post your, um, social security number in the chat, and we'll talk. It's a joke. Don't do that. <laughs> Squirt, 7948. Hi, so good to see you. Thank you for being you. Thanks, Squirt. Thank you for being you. Joseph Mangano, we need more Digimon that are just shapes. <laughs> Honestly, it's a consistency thing. I think that's the thing that bothers me the most. And, it's, and it doesn't actually bother me. I think it's hysterical. I love that shit. That's why I love opening these cards. It's hysterical. But it's a consistency thing. That's why it's when the it's just shapes in Pokemon, I make a big deal out of it because it's like there's not it doesn't look like a thing. It just looks like shapes. When you look at a Pokemon, it looks like a Pokemon. You know what I mean? Like you look at a Digimon and it's like it could be from fucking Persona 5. Like I don't know. It <laughs> It's, just, it's like, well, oh, it's a Digimon? Okay, great. I don't, a Petermon. Like, what the fuck? It doesn't, look like a, it doesn't look like a Digimon. But I guess a Digimon could be anything, right? But you see a Pokemon, and you're like, that looks like a Pokemon. Except for fucking Eternatus. What the fuck is that? That's my point. It's a consistency thing. Like, when you see somebody draw some kind of monster creature, it's, it's, it's like it could be a Digimon, right? But it, it could ease, it's, it, if it doesn't look like a Pokemon, it doesn't look like a Pokemon. That's what I'm saying. There's a consistency issue. And I'm not saying that that's good or bad. I just think it's hysterical. I think, I think that you can, the fact that you can pull Lego Agumon, and then, and then there's characters like Tinkermon, and then there's Digimon like Breakdramon. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, it's great. I love it. I love it. I'm not saying I don't like it. I love it. Oh, man. I'm running on fumes. I think I might call it early because I got so many more Super Chats to go through. And, like, I don't know if I have it in me for another box. I'm telling you, man, this month has been... I'm looking forward to a little Christmas vacation. I think it's, I'm going to feel refreshed, and I'm going to come back with some very fucking awesome energy. But we've been working to the bone, man. We've been working to the bone. That's why it's been so hard to get these streams going this month. We've been pushing back streams and everything. So, yeah, I might, I might, I might call it after these, uh, these super chats. 
but I appreciate everyone sticking around and hanging out with me because it is fun. Regard, I mean, it's I'm tired, but it's still fun. I'm not like, oh my god, I have to get through these super chats. This is great. I love this. Uh, Luis Garcia. Hey, Aaron, hoping you're staying safe. Birthday is this weekend, approaching the last year of my 20s. Any advice for what to do at 29? Love y'all. Well, uh, let me tell you, man, the 30s, they're the best. I'm, I'm not fucking with you on this. The 30s are the best, period. Uh, 20s are great, obviously. You know, you're an adult. You're very young. Uh, 30s, you're still young. And... You probably have your shit together because you spent 10 years of your 20s getting your shit together. So the 30s, it's like, you're fucking good, man. I love, I'm love. i loving my 30s. I'm going to be honest with you. So look forward to it. Nerdy Panda, 12. Got some RPGs and pulled the ultra rare shiny Froggins. He's the goodest boy. Hell yeah, man. Congratulations. Love King Froggins. Molly Makesner. Yo, Aaron, how's your day going? It's going good. I mean, I, I'm having a good day. I'm just, I'm just dragging ass a little bit, if I'm being honest. Um, but thank you for asking. It's very sweet. Uh, I've had a rough week, and today has actually been a really good day. So um, that, I'm very grateful for that. Second City Games. Hey, girl, hey. Would you ever autograph and sell some dupe slash common cards? I'd love to get a Beat Raptor with your graph on it. Uh, if you send me a card to my P.O. Box in the About page, um, the About page of this website, uh, or this YouTube channel, <laughs> website, this web zone, uh, if you send me a, a card in the mail with a return envelope addressed to you and postage, I will sign whatever card you want me to and I'll send it back. I, I can't I can't get anybody else to sign anything. I can't get Susie to sign stuff. I can't get Dan to sign stuff. I will sign whatever you want and I will send it back as long as you have return postage, okay? Um, so yes, I will. You can send me a Beat Raptor and I will sign it and I'll send it back. No problem. I have a little bit of a backlog right now because I haven't had time to do it in a while. Uh, but you will get it. If you sent me one, you will get it back. Aaron Wooster. Hi, Aaron. Me and my husband, Atlas, love watching you rage over Pokemon cards. I love Digimon, but a lot Atlas hates it. <laughs> convince Atlas to like it. How am I supposed to convince? It, it's fucking wacky as shit, dude. How could you not like it? Look at this. What? The hell is going on? Uh, Lucario Man 909. Kari, Kamiya, and B-Stars Haru share a voice actor. Well, that's cool. In America or Japan? It's cool, though. Love that kind of trivia. Pizza Guy. Yo, my wife Katie got me a dope cameo from you for my birthday. Made my week, bro. She wants you guys to play the Spyro remaster so bad. Much love. Uh, I'm glad you like the cameo, man. I appreciate that. You can get yourself a cameo at cameo.com slash hello, I'm Aaron. Great for a Christmas present. Um, I'll, do, I'll, I'll, I'll do a video and say whatever you want. As long as it's legal. I've only rejected like five cameos total in my life. Um, usually because they're just weird. <laughs> None of them have been illegal. I've never gotten an illegal cameo yet. So that's good, I guess. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, the thing about Spyro is... Uh, well, I've gotten a lot of requests for games like that. Spyro, Crash Bandicoot and stuff. Uh, I never played those as a kid, and I know they're beloved. Um, so I kind of feel bad playing those games because I know I probably won't love them that much, as much as people love them. They're not my kind of game. Uh, I, I just don't want to be unfair to those games. You know, I, I'll probably be shitting on those games all the time, and people will be upset, and I don't want to do that. The only games I like shitting on are games that I have history with. That I once loved or I have always hated or for some specific reason or something like that. Otherwise, I'm not. And this is like more of a recent thing. I mean, obviously, when I was younger, I was all willy-nilly. I'll shit on whatever. But uh, I, I, I try not to shit on as much stuff that I'm not, that, that just kind of, crosses my path because I want to put more positivity into the world 
Uh, Malfazar, trust me, it's totally not full of live hornets. Well, they'd probably all die in the transit process, so. Kyle P. McFarland, just found a target with vivid voltage in stock and bought a few packs. My girlfriend and I opened them together and pulled a Rainbow Nessa and Pikachu VMAX. Damn, very nice. Congratulations to you. Taylor Crothers, with that playthrough of Cyberpunk 2077, though. Man, I don't give a shit about Cyberpunk. I don't give a motherfucking shit. It is not the kind of game I want to play. It is it, it's the all the stuff about like the team and everything, and I, I just don't give a shit. I don't give a shit about The Last of Us. I, it's like those games, I don't care. Triple A narrative, whatever, gun McShooty up games. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like I just don't care. That is so not my kind of game. Uh, and that's like all single player experiences now is like that. So <laughs> I'm, I'm all more into like or strange indie titles or stuff that's like brutally hard or arcadey feeling stuff. It's like Doom Eternal I love because it's just like it's just go, go, go. Doesn't waste any time. Because <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't, I don't mean to here's here's if I want like a really compelling story, I'll watch a show or a movie, right? If it, if a game is like very story heavy, it's like is it really going to be that good? Cuz so much of so much of video game storytelling is trying to be traditional. Like triple A storytelling is trying to be traditional. It's trying to be cutscenes, it's trying to be dramatic fucking whatever. And they very rarely use the game aspect of it to further the story, right? It's like, here's the part where you watch a movie, and here's the part where you run around town with a gun. You know, there's really, there's usually not a whole lot of um, ludo narrative uh, link between those two. Uh, so that's why it, it feels like a waste of time, because it's like, those games are like 30 fucking hours or whatever and it's like I could watch an hour movie <laughs> I don't have that kind of time and and not to shit on anybody but usually the storytellers who are like killing it in storytelling are in movies and are in television they're not in games um, and again I apologize I, it's, I'm not obviously there are exceptions um, but if if I'm like I'm not if I'm looking for a good story I'm not going for a game I'm going for a movie or something it's very much more a condensed experience all killer no filler you know what I mean so, so if I want to play a game I'm going to play a game Doom Eternal's a game it's got little bits of what the makers or whatever it's like okay fine it's fucking it's frosting like it's it, that stuff I don't care. It's funny and, and it's ridiculous. But it's not. I'm I'm not waste. I'm not watching a cutscene for an hour. Um, and the only exception to that rule, in my opinion, that, not a rule, but what I'm saying is a blanket statement. The only exception to that, in my mind, is like Metal Gear Solid, something like that, because Kojima's a guy I think who uses the game very effectively for storytelling. Um, in interesting ways, uh, and you know it's it's not like super overt at times, but there are, there are times where the game sort of does something that's like, oh, that was wow, that was interesting. That really made me feel something about the story, even though I was just playing a game where you're shooting a bunch of guys. Um, so I appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, when it comes to a game like Cyberpunk, where it's like all narrative. Uh, and and it's the dissonance that bothers me. I talked about Mass Effect, and I think it was the last stream. Somebody asked me about Mass Effect, and I I was like, Mass Effect would be better if there was no shooting, if it was just story, because that whole game was about like space politics and like and, and learning about like all these different races and like and how some races don't like other races and like how you can manipulate certain aspects of like the 
political system to like get things done and like that's really interesting and if that game was just that that would be dope and there's no dissonance there because that's what the story is right but there's there's dissonance because the story is all this stuff and then you go and you shoot a bunch of guys <laughs> like it's it's just, there's, there's not a real whole lot of it's it's very frictive the relationship between those two things so But anyway, that's my that's my thoughts on cyberpunk and why I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't I don't care about cyberpunk. I if I have time, I might play it. I just got a PS5, so it's like it would be nice to have a new game on it. But it's not even going to be out on the PS5. You can play it, the PS4 version, and it has like slight whatever graphical. Who cares? But the actual PS5 version isn't going to be out until, like, next year. So it's like, why would I want to play a PS4 game on my PS5? <laughs> so I'm probably not going to play it for a while, if ever. Uh, so there you go. There's my super upsetting, cynical rant about modern video game development. <laughs> uh, thank you for coming to my TED Talk or whatever that bit is. Mason has low IQ. I'm excited for you guys to play Link's Awakening. Keep up the good work. Thanks, man. Me too, man. I, I love Link's Awakening. It's it's that's a fun little experience. Dark Fool Dave. I'm honored you found a place for it. Made my day. Didn't think you'd show it till a mail stream. Did you get the custom cards that came with it too? Uh, custom cards? I don't think so. Uh-oh. I hope they didn't get like thrown away or something. Because it was in like a box that was like shaped like this. Um, I will check. <laughs> Sorry if they are got thrown away because I thought they were packaging. Jacob Isak. All right, here we go. I hope to flop and gourd. There's a Stinkumon to be pulled. It's the only thing besides a shiny thicky that can free my Heiner from this wretched curse. <laughs> Love Stinkum, man. Stink Stinkumon. <laughs> Aether... Gilfassen, hey, what's up, man? Uh, Jesse Romo Marquez, oh god, I just saw your fleet. Also, I don't know if you had answered this before, but have you seen the Cyber Sleuth Digimon games? I have not, but people have mentioned it in here already. Sorry if you answered before, I'm late. No worries. No, I have not seen them before. Tristan, thanks for the signature. I hope that things weren't too troublesome. You are awesome. Ah, no, no worries. If I have some time, they just get they get put in a stack, and I just take care of them when I can. David Flores. Hey, Aaron, made another awesome stream. Any chance y'all might play Paper Mario on N64? I know you would love Bow the Boo. Uh, I don't know. We're definitely, I think we're probably going to play Origami King. I don't know if people, like, want us to anymore. I, I get the impression people didn't really like Origami King that much. Um, but Dan's excited to play Origami King. Goaty Fett. Heads up, your cube will be at your P.O. Box on Friday. Oh, thank you. Uh, Jonathan Delaney. Hey, Aaron, did you know Puyo Puyo Tetris 2 came out? Really? Oh, I didn't know that. That's awesome. Sincerely, Jonathan Delaney, CEO of Jonathan Delaney & Co. Have a Jonathan Delaney day. That's a good bit. I like that. <laughs> uh, Gorgami King is fun, but it's long. Okay. Got it. Sir Hops, hey Aaron, I know it was a joke, but I still feel bad about the chant the crowd at the Game Grumps show in New Jersey last summer started. We actually love you. Oh, no, no, it's fine. That, it's, we don't take offense to that kind of stuff. Don't worry about it. It's not. It was funny. It was a funny bit. Jesse Romo Marquez, oh, and if you haven't already, look up Lilithmon. She's one of my favorite, and I think you'll like her too. I think Susie would be her slash have as partner Digimon. Uh... Lilithmon, I'm assuming, is a goth Pokemon. Reminds me of Liliana. I think Lily is just like a goth name all of a sudden. Super Saiyan Maria. <laughs> Aaron, of course, I don't know if you already have, but I was genuinely happy for you that you had outside social time on Matt's charity stream. Outside social time on... Oh, yes, that was nice. It was really nice. We all got tested, and, um, you know, we, we went in, and we were wearing the masks, obviously, and... Uh, yeah, that was a really fun time, man. Um, that, that was the if you if you don't know what I'm talking about, Matt Pat 
and uh, Stephanie did a stream for charity. It was a big stream. It was like $3 million or something. Um, but we went on and played like a Pictionary variant. And it was really fun. And I got to hang out with a bunch of people like for the first time in like forever. So it was really nice. Uh, Luis Martinez. What does the FF7 gang think of Digimon? I don't even remember what their voices were, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I think Digimon's cool and all, but, um, I just don't quite, like, get it. Like, I don't really get it. What's not to get? Well, you know, it's like, it's like, there's like cute girls and there's like dinosaurs and stuff and... Yeah, well, I mean, our universe has cute girls and dinosaurs and stuff. Yeah, but like the, like the monsters are the dinosaurs and stuff. Yeah, but some of the enemies are cute girls and some of them are monsters. All right, well, I didn't mean to pick a fight or anything. I'm not picking a fight. I'm just I'm just telling it like it is. You're definitely picking a fight right now. I'm not. I'm not picking a fight. Hey, why are you picking a fight with Aerith? I'm not picking a fight. I'm just doing a thing. Okay, well, it sounded like you were picking a fight with Aerith. I wasn't. It kind of sounded like you were. Dude, why are you ganging up on me? We're not ganging up on you. Yeah, we're not ganging up on you. You're totally ganging up on me right now, and I don't appreciate it. Well, I mean... I don't know where to go with this bit. I'm tired. <laughs> Malfazar, you could do a lemon and bill polo over the pocket. That's funny. I do like that. That is a good idea. Magical Morganite. Hi, Aaron. I'm collecting all fairy cards for a binder since they're no longer in print. Wish me luck. Lovely since 2013. That's awesome. Good luck. Uh, all right. What else we got? I got to do more of the... These the, the bits. I gotta get some fucking rest, man. I'm exhausted. I just checked. I checked out my grays. You know, I got gray hairs. Since quarantine started, I'm like fully. Gray. I don't even have to dye my hair streak anymore because it's almost all gray. Like that's one streak. Weirdly, has manifested into gray hair. Uh, I need some fucking rest, man. All right. Uh. Wow, okay. Uh, Lunar C. Thanks, Aaron. Have a good night. You too, Lunar C. Hope you feel better. David Brahma. Hey, Aaron. I watched you and Dan every day for the last six years. Like others, you've helped me get through a lot. P.S. Gyarados' spine looks like a butt. Yeah, that's definitely... That is that is definitely a thing that I'm very happy is a thing. Harriet. Love to hang out in these streams. Makes it worth staying up late, too, but make sure you get some rest. I know. Also, thank you for the cameo. Yeah, thanks for booking me on cameo. It's always always nice to see your name pop up. Chris V, Shuffle Master, help! This huge tree is blocking my path and won't move unless I offered it an awesome pin and sticker inspired by 8-bit and 16-bit RJRPG, but what could it be? RPGs, in fact! Go get them at RPGs.com, link in the description below, or GameGrowth.com slash merch to save on shipping if you want to get games merch, merch too. GameGrowth merch too. It's my 8-bit and 16-bit inspired, JRPG-inspired pin set. <laughs> Hell yeah. Madi, if you released an album called Oof with a single called Samsung, do you think Rap Watson would sue, hire a hitman, or simply pretend he didn't notice? I have to know. I love that kid, man. I can't wait to see him again. Uh, but yes, I would get sued. He he hates me. Uh, Squirt7948, P.S. Hubby, Mike Ritchie got me a cameo for my birthday and gave it to me early. I love and appreciated it. It made this year less poop. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, I really appreciate everyone booking me on cameo right now. Uh, great Christmas present. Malfazar, well, yeah, they are now. Check your mail. <laughs> the Hornets. The horn He's talking about the Hornets being dead. Jonathan Barnes, isn't Don Gun Run put very story driven? See, that's the thing. It's. Uh, I don't dislike story driven games. First of all, Don Gun Run is terrible. <laughs> Can I just say, I love it. I absolutely love Don Gun Run especially for Game Grumps. It's a fucking horrible game. But, come on, it's fucking hysterical. Like, it's, <laughs> it's great. Uh, if, if, if I was trying to make it, like, a good game, I would make huge changes. Um, but, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's a fucking visual novel. Like, it's, it's not a game. The, the game element of it is the trials, and it's bullshit. It's terrible. The logic doesn't make sense. It's hard to follow. Uh, it's just, and the mini games aren't fun. So, 
Like, that's all there is to it. Uh, but I love it. I'm loving playing Danganronpa. Fucking great. But it's an awful game. Uh, Kuro Gear. Tacos or burritos? Um, depends on the mood. I like, I like burritos when they have rice in them. I know in, like... I know in like traditional Mexican culture, that's a bit of like a like a uh oh like, but I mean maybe it's not. I don't know. That's just what I heard. Uh, but I I love if I'm feeling like having a little rice with my because it's like here's the thing about Mexican food. Like so much of it has is built in plates. You know, like burrito, it's you just pick it up with your hands. A taco, you just pick it up with your hands. A fucking um, flautas. I think, is what I'm thinking of. You just pick it up with your hands, you know. But when there's when there's like sides where you have to use like a utensil, it's like ah, this feels sloppy. <laughs> like I don't, I, I don't want to have a taco and then also have to use my fork. Um, so like a burrito with rice in it, if I want rice with Mexican food, is great. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Calisorian. I think a lot of game stories try to be way too complicated. The most engaging stories are the simpler ones. Celeste, Hades, Wander Song. Um, I guess it's never it's never about the story itself for me, because a story is a story. It's the involvement with the game that always bothers me. Um, if it's if it's a game that's very story heavy. And then they inject like shooting segments into it. It's like this is kind of lame. Um, just make the game a story, you know. Uh, I I'm I'm very I'm I'm a huge supporter of like inside out design, right? Where it's like you have a core, and then you build outward, you know. Um, when it's like I want to make a shooter game. And I want to make the story this. Like, it's very outside in, um, which I think makes games sloppy. It's, like, the same the same way, like, Breath of the Wild is fucking brilliant. Um, I think if, but I don't think it was inside out in terms of the world. I think they sort of, like, placed things around. Um, I think if the world was designed inside out, it would be a lot richer. Um, because it's like you, this is a whole nother fucking topic. I don't even know why I'm going into it when I'm so tired, <laughs> but the point is, I guess I agree with you. Um, but my biggest thing is just if the game is intertwined with the story and it's not just now here's a part where you shoot things and it's not very interesting. And then now here's a part where you watch a cutscene because you got to a place. That's, that's what. I don't like. I think it's sloppy, and I think it's boring and uninteresting. Uh, MSGT, thank you. The Undead 13, just want to say a huge thank you for the cameo my girlfriend got me for our anniversary. Really made my day from Gaz. I hope I pronounced your name right in the cameo. Sometimes I get names that I've never heard before, like Gaz. I think I said Gaz um, in the cameo. Uh, I hope I got the name right. I apologize. If you book me on Cameo and the name and, and the person you're getting isn't like Michael or like Steve, if it's like spelled weird or whatever, please, please put in a pronunciation because I don't want to fuck up the name. If you're, if you're spending money on me making a personalized video, I want it to be right. So I don't want to, I really, I would be so upset if I got a video from somebody and they said my name wrong. Um, so please, please, I beg of you, put in the pronunciation of the name of the person you want me to say. And, uh, and also yours um, as well, because usually I mention who the cameo is from. Uh, okay. <laughs> Beardy W, what's your opinion on the recent Nintendo news? Oh, man, it sucks. I, it sucks. I hate, like... It's it's just it's a it's a very closed minded. It here's the thing. I know Nintendo to be a good company in a lot of ways. Um, 
I also know Nintendo to be incredibly oblivious in a lot of ways. Um, I, I don't think that there's anybody... I guess what I'm saying is I don't think it's, like, malicious. I don't think that, that anybody is, like, against supporting a community. Um, I think it's, it's obliviousness. I think they've never had to think about that stuff until now. Um, so the people up top, I remember, here's an example of what I mean to, to explain it a little better. I remember somebody telling me that they, they were selling a t-shirt that was like, that was like a Nintendo property or something. It, it was like some meme, right? It was, but it was using like a Zelda or something and it was a Zelda design, but it was a gag from the internet. Um, and they were selling it and... There was some exec that was like at a show, like an E3 or whatever, and that artist went up and was like, hey, how do you feel about artists doing this kind of stuff? And then they were like, he was like totally, he was like, what? People do this? And it's like, how do you not know people do this? <laughs> like, this is go on Redbubble and type in Nintendo. Like, it's it's like, it's so out there. But they're completely oblivious to that world because they're so, like, we make games and we sell them, you know? Like, there's no, there's no, like, community outreach. I don't think they even have a department like that. As far as I know, when it comes to PR, they've worked with a company called Golan. Um, they don't even have their own PR team within Nintendo. They might now, but... As far as I know, they still work with Golan. Um, so, like, they they don't under they they have no connection to that world. So, in their minds, it's a bunch of people infringing on their copyright. You know, like it's not it's not a it's not even a question of community. It's like this is illegal and infringing on our copyright. Like that's what they see. If they had a department. If, if they had somebody come in and make, like, a really good case towards community um, support, um, especially coming from the perspective of business, right? Like, saying, like, this is hurting business by not supporting communities in this way. Um, they would change their mind, you know? Like, at the very top, they're a business-minded company. I think they just need to have a department that's, like, a community department that's making good decisions um, because I think a lot of these companies, and not just Nintendo, I think a lot of Japanese companies are way behind when it comes to community support because um, I think they're still in a very like single player couch co-op kind of mindset when particularly the Western world has really moved on to like online and Discord and like that's so like that's a huge. Th I mean, you see, you see giant games being made in America or you know Europe or whatever, um, where like there's literally a Discord. So Doom Eternal. When you log on to Doom Eternal, that they, they there's a Discord server that like they made for the game. You know, like that. That's that's a shift. Um, and Japan is way behind on that. There's nobody over there. I mean, I don't know. I can't say like blanket wise, but there's no there's there's not a whole lot of people over there like championing that path. I think they'll catch on eventually. I just think it's antiquated business, man. But they'll 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 get to it. You know, it reminds me of the the whole YouTube scare where everyone was afraid that Nintendo was going to start like monetizing and it lets players because they didn't they didn't quite understand like the let's play space and they were like these kids are playing our video games and infringing on our copyrights etc cetera, etc cetera. they'll catch up it's very unfortunate though I, I it sucks for the community of people that support their games and play their games overall I believe it sucks <laughs> Where was I? Oh, okay. Jacob Esock, once again. Look up Stinkamon. He's flat and wide, looks like a turlet. 
Get you some good, good rest, my noble stinkum knight. You deserve it. Mwah. Thank you, Jacob. I appreciate that. This is turning into more of a hangout stream, I think. Chris V, good night, Shuffle Master. Thank you, Chris. Beardy W, quick Shuffle Master, best baby Yoda joke. Go. God damn it. Why do you guys make me come up with jokes on the spot? Especially when I'm, I'm dragging ass today. Uh... What does a Baby Yoda say to another Baby Yoda? Fucking merchandise me, baby. I don't know. Fuck it. That's my best one. There you go. Just spiral is. What do you call wings that the Rebel Alliance don't eat? X-Wings. <laughs> That's funny. Also, any chance you will play No More Heroes 3 on Grumps? Would love that so much. Uh, maybe. I do like No More Heroes. Mr. Sheeb. Dang, big, big dongs. LOL. Big dongs. Balthazar, 228. Do you think your friendship with Dan could outlast finishing Dokapon Kingdom? We've talked about it. I'm not sure. Probably. Uh, Daniel Reese, shout out to Tolarian Community College, is doing a fundraiser to help black communities' donations have a chance to win Zendikar Expedition Landfoils. Oh, that's awesome. I love that guy. Uh, Tolarian Community College is doing a charity thing. Go check him out. Um, that's great. Good for him. Eddie Ringel, unfortunately, US IP law typically requires companies to protect their trademarks or risk losing them. A fan-made Pokemon game might be well-intended, but if they let that slide, then bad actors could potentially co-opt the Pokemon trademark. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, it's, it's hard to comment on that kind of stuff. As an IP holder, you know, obviously, I'm not stupid. I see people selling Game Grumps fan art on, you know, on like Redbubble or on Etsy or whatever, and um, I I never it, it's hard to put this out there with because it's a very like legal thing. I've never once said that I endorsed it. That being said. I have also never said that I don't endorse it. <laughs> if that makes sense. The point is, it's a really tricky situation to be in as an IP holder to support the arts because there are a lot of bad faith actors out there. There are a lot of people that will take advantage of a blanket statement about the use of your IP in a non-legal situation. If, 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 if somebody, a company, who owns an IP, goes out there and says, do whatever you want, that could be a potential issue for the IP holder. Uh, it's, it's a trust thing. So, I don't think anybody's ever seen a lawsuit from Game Grumps for fan art. So, that's all I'm saying. If it ever became a problem for a huge company like Nintendo, where somebody was doing something like that, um, obviously they would want every protection they could have to protect their IP and not have some fucking statement floating out there that's like, do whatever you want, we don't care, you know, because then that's, that holds up in a, in a court. If somebody could argue, like, but they said, you know, like, and then get away with it. So, there you go. Again, it's a tricky thing to talk about as an IP holder myself, but obviously I am an artist. I came up an artist. You know where I stand on this. This is based on my actions. Um, Eddie Ringel, also. Also hope you're able to relax and recharge over the holidays. Take care, man. Yeah, man, you too. Uh, let's see. Willie Brad. Hey, Aaron, so my cousin found his old Pokemon cards. He has a base set unlimited foil Charizard. How much do you think you'd offer for a loose Zard? Uh, <laughs> I mean, here's the thing about buying collections and stuff. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not trying to be a dick. Like, I'm not going to be like, five bucks, baby, you know? But 
at the same time, if somebody's willing to let a collection go that has really valuable cards in it for a significantly lower price than what it's worth, I want that deal. Um, so if somebody came to me and was like, I will sell you a Charizard at cost, I would say no, because I'm not looking for a Charizard. I have plenty of Charizards. Um, but if your cousin wants to sell me a Charizard then doesn't care if it's at cost, then let's talk. Um, but also, I'm not really looking for foil Charizard right now, to be honest with you. I, I have like six. Uh, a single petal. Have a good break, Aaron. I hope you like the gifts. Thanks, a single petal. <laughs> what the fuck is IP? <laughs> I love that. Uh, why are all the advent calendar videos no longer up? They are uh, that they, they are up. Um, so the 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 thumbnail and the title gets changed. That's the whole that's the whole bit of the advent calendar. Is every day it's a surprise. It's like here's the next video, and it's not titled. It's not descriptive or anything. It's just like here's the next one. Open it to see what you get, and then you open it and you watch the clip. And it's oh okay. And then the next day we change the thumbnail and the title to what it actually is. So it's this fun little game we're playing with the trying to do something with the titling process and stuff. It's fun. It's you know it's like opening a little thing. And it's cute. Uh, Jared Willis, any chance in the future for a complete set RPGs all at once for sale? No way. No way, Jose. Never gonna happen. I I I, I am personally. I mean, you see, fucking, I love this shit. I love random... That's why I made RPGs, because I love this. I didn't do it because that's, like, the most efficient way to sell pins or whatever. Like, it's because I love it. And I want to protect, you know, the, the... Like, it's rare to get this pin. I think that aspect of a product like RPGs is is most of the fun of it. Um, so, no, I would never sell the, the pins straight away like that. Um, that ruins the fun of it. It's like obviously they're good pins and they're they hold up on their own, but it's the fun is the the hunt. Um, and also, here's another thing that a lot of people don't talk about about this kind of thing that I also appreciate. And there's there's a TED talk about this, um, and it's about the idea of uh, which is I would say 50 percent of the reason why I also went the the random route with RPGs is. Uh, you you end up um, creating an attachment to something that you wouldn't usually because it's yours. Um, it's it's a really beautiful thing that happens in our minds, um, and there's ways you can circumvent it too. It's kind of fucked up, uh, but they, they they go into that TED talk. It's it's called like the secret to happiness or something like that. They did an experiment with paintings and stuff. Uh, try to look up like happiness TED talk. Or something like it. it's like syn synthetic happiness. I think is what it's called. Anyway, the idea being that you, you know, a card or an RPGs pack or whatever, it's random, right? Obviously, you look, you look at the back of the pack, right? Or here's a here's an open pack from one of the the ads I did. You look at the back of the pack, twenty pins. You see this. You're like, oh. You make up your mind about, like, I want this one. I want Devilman and I want Branch Baby. I think those are the best ones and those are my favorites. I've already decided. I hope I pull them. So there's this fun um, thing that happens that doesn't happen if you just buy something that you want. There's a fun thing that happens with a random uh, situation is if you pull it, fuck yeah. What an exciting moment for you. You set out to do something, and you got it. Wow, that's amazing, right? I'm going to treasure this forever. There's a really interesting thing that happens the opposite end, though. When you open something and you don't get what you want, you just pull one pack, you pull it open, you get the warrior and the blob and whatever, and it's not what you wanted. Oh, bummer, but at least I got some pins. There's a really weird thing that happens in your brain where you start to get attached to something that you didn't originally think was your favorite or that you wanted it because it's yours. Because it's something that like you got and now it's yours and you create an attachment to something that you 
you normally wouldn't like. You know, I don't usually like blob characters. I don't usually like frogs. I, frogs are like my least favorite thing, right? And then you pull a frog and you're like, fuck, I pulled a frog. I hate frogs. You start to like the pin because it's yours. Because you, you were forced to have it and now it's your thing. And you pulled that frog and you have this experience of pulling the frog and you end up getting attached to it and actually liking the frog and it changes your brain pattern. It's fucking cool. Um, I love that kind of shit. I think that's so interesting and it's so, um, it's so wholesome in a way uh, because in the end, it's just all about like treasuring the things that you like. You know, there's, there's been so many situations where I've bought something and I, I wanted it and I bought it and I got it and then when I got it, I didn't give a fuck. You know, it's, it's, but never have I anything like this with Disney pins or whatever. Obviously, I'm going for Orange Bird or whatever because I fucking love Orange Bird. But when I pull, like, Beauty and the Beast, I'm like, ah, fuck, I didn't want Beauty and the Beast. But then I put it on my jacket, and now that's my pin, and I love it. I love that stuff, man. I think that's so cool. So that's why, that's half of the reason why I wanted to do RPGs as a random thing because I just love that experience. I think it's so beautiful. Anyway. But everyone's just going to say I'm a shill and I did it because it's manipulative or whatever. <laughs> like, it's fine. I, it's fine. Because obviously I'm not, I, I, I'm not denouncing that. Like, But it's because I fucking lo- I made a whole channel about opening random shit. I love it. Like, how is it not obvious that it's just something that I love? Anyway. <laughs> I could get salty about that, but I'm not going to. Uh, Elizabeth Hunt. Favorite Star Wars movie and why? Um, Empire. Because obviously. It's fucking awesome. Uh, Where was I? A. Phillips. Hi, Aaron. Love Aaron. (laughs) Thanks, bud. Uh, Love you too, man. (laughs) Uh, Terracotta. Loving the direction the stream took. Feel better. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's fun to just kind of chill. Uh, David Flores. Hey, Aaron, I'm on Facebook. I saw an app game using your Christmas heads for advertising. It's called Lots of Slot Vegas Casino. (laughs) Really? (laughs) Let me write this down. (laughs) Yeah, there was a... That's happened a couple times in history. I mean, again, that's why we have to protect our IP because there, there was like a beer that was like in Europe or something that used the grump the grump head as like their character mascot, and it was like, uh, <laughs> and like we weren't litigious about it. Like we didn't. We just kind of sent an email to him and was like, hey, and he was like, oh yeah, yeah, sorry, and it was like, okay, cool, don't worry about it then. Uh, I don't know where my pen is. Oh, here it is. Any anytime we have to confront people about legal stuff, there there's always a period where we're trying to be a mensch about it, you know, because obviously we uh, uh, people make mistakes. I never want to w- walk into something with bad faith. I never want to walk into something thinking that somebody's being malicious, like it's. People make mistakes. I want to give people an opportunity to, you know, be a cool person about it. Um, Willie Brad. Oh, I'm asking for me. I'm going to offer 600 I don't have an original Zard, but I want it to sit next to my foil Dark Zard. Any but love chilling with you. Uh, oh, um, yeah, I mean, just go by eBay prices, man. That's, that's really all there is to it. Um, and it's tough too, I know, because so you think you you think because Pokemon's huge right now, right? Like the prices will be consistent. No, <laughs> they are not consistent. If you go on eBay and you look up Charizard, like ungraded base set Charizard, you will see Charizards that are in pretty decent condition that sell for like eighty bucks. It's completely inconsistent. Um. So, just offer whatever you think is fair, man. <laughs> Trey Beals. 
Hi, my boyfriend and I met slash bonded because of Game Grumps, and I use the GH magnets to communicate with our opposite schedules. Thanks for existing. That's great, man. That's that. I love that. I, I love that. That's adorable. BeardyW, hate to call it out, but Ross calling you a simp in the Among Us video was the most hilarious thing I've heard. I simp for my wife, too. LOL. That was really funny. I mean... Uh, she she really confused me, man, because she, you know, it was like she told me she was the imposter, and I was like, oh, of course she's an imposter then. But then she, like, people were dying, and it seemed like she was with me the whole time, and I was like, now I'm confused. <laughs> like, is she just fucking with me? That was really funny. <laughs> MP. Oh, thank you. Wow. Hey, Mr. Hansen, I really appreciate you and everything you've done with the Grumps as a whole. You're an incredible human being, and I look forward to inviting you all to my home every day via the television screen. Hope you enjoy the holidays. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Um, thanks for watching. Kyle Bolliver, 18. Much support to you, Aaron. Thank you for answering my question about episode numbers honestly. I totally get how difficult that shit is. Uh, yeah, man. I, I really wish it were simple. I really wish, you know, we didn't have to game the algorithm all the time. I really wish, but that's how it is, man. And it's, you know, we, we've we been trying to keep up with the playlists lately. Um, we, we've noticed that's how most people consume long series with playlists. So it's like, it's not like we're not thinking of everybody. Like we, we, we're really trying to get the best of both worlds. Uh, James Coltis, get super attached to Gundams because you made it. <laughs> what? I don't know what that means. Uh, okay. Dark Fool Dave whistles nervously in making Pokemon and Eager After IP art simultaneously. LOL. By the way, yeah, slipped some cards in the box. I have a spare set if they're lost. Okay, yeah, I'll see if I can find them. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I love the Dunsparce. Give it up for the Dunsparce, everybody. Hey! I wish I had an applause sound effect. Uh, Ray Koku X Typhu. Hey, Aaron, glad I could finally catch a stream. It was my friend Ashley's birthday yesterday. I think you could say happy birthday and much love from us. Happy birthday to Ashley! Um, all right. We're good, baby. I gotta get some food. Thanks for hanging out. This was, uh, you know, I got a little tired. We only opened up one box of Digimon, but... And by the way, that box was given to me by Legacy Comics. Go to LegacyComics.com or check them out. Local Glendale TCG store and comic store. A um, lot of Magic product, a lot of Pokemon product. Go check them out, Legacy Comics. They gave me the, they gave me the box for free. So thanks to them. Um, all right. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. You know I love these. You know, just, even, though, even though I'm tired. Ah, oh, Clifton! Hey, Aaron, are you all playing on more Castlevania games? I always love the Castlevania playthroughs. You guys are the best. Keep up the amazing work. Um, yeah, probably. We'll probably play more Castlevanias. I love Castlevania. Um, but anyway, yeah, man, I, I love these streams. Even though it was tired, I really enjoyed this. I'm glad we got to hang out. I'm glad it came more of a chill stream where we're just chatting. It's, that's a lot easier for me, that's for sure. Um, even though I love opening cards. Uh, but yeah, man, have a wonderful night, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful week. Um, I think I'll see you Friday. Um, we'll hang out Friday. Uh, I'm not sure what to do on Friday. We'll figure something out. It'll be fun. I've got a lot of cards to open, so we'll open up something on Friday. I can tell you that. Uh, have a wonderful night. Wonderful night, baby. Mwah! I love you all. I'm going to do it. Wah!